Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome here to Oliver C. Dawson Stadium in Orangeburg, South Carolina for today's MEOC football digital broadcast on ESPN featuring the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats who are visiting the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. Hello, everybody. I'm Dee Hanson. I'm joined by my broadcast partner in Steve Foster. Steve, we got an old-time rivalry on our hands. 44th meeting between these two schools. Since 1956, you can go back. It's a pretty even matchup. They have split the last 16 games between uh, the two. Uh, and now we have also kind of a log jam of one-on-one teams in the conference trying to stay in it between these two as well, coming off wins, and they look to their star quarterbacks. Both of these schools do. Absolutely. We'll start with Bethune-Cookman in their field general, general Akevius Williams, number 10, the red shirt junior. He's led his Wildcats to a 3-3 three and three overall statistics, wins and losses, winning the last two that he started. On the other side of the ball, we go to the South Carolina State Bulldogs. We talk about sophomore number three, Tyrese Nix. Tyrese Nix beat my dad's Morgan State Bears last week, 21-18, and the sophomore will be looking for more this week. It's a cat and dog matchup here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Stay tuned. Come back. We got the kickoff between Bethu Cookman and South Carolina State. You're watching MEAC football right here on ESPN. Carolina State so University. Are you next? As usual by the quarterback, John Walker. Although they are expecting to see a mix. Welcome right back uh, here to again, Bulldog Stadium in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Dean Hanson and Steve Foster alongside SE State getting ready for get another matchup here in Miak play against Bethune Cookman. And they'll be Hampton. taking on uh, Terry Sims. But uh, Buddy Poo Poe there sitting right. there with the, now his team in the Wildcats coming in at 8 8 against Bethune Cookman, excuse me, the Bulldogs. And now looking to try to get two wins in a row after uh, taking their uh, last game uh, there on the road against Morgan State and uh, has had a long tenure obviously 15th season as the head coach coming in and uh, with 121 wins looking for 122 here this afternoon. I have to agree with you D and a big win against the Morgan State Bears and don't forget though the Bethune Cookman Wildcats have won their last two so they're trying to go for the three in a row the home team's trying to get back to back South Carolina State kicking it off here defensive line for Hampton looks here at home it's a beautiful Early afternoon in Orangeburg, South Carolina, 76 degrees, a little bit of wind, 8 miles per hour, and sunny, 40% humidity, and we're kicking it off and underway here again in Orangeburg. A short kick is going to be going out of bounds here for the Bulldogs and the flag flies. Well, you know, D, there's been some changes in the rules for kickoffs. If you fair catch the ball, even on the two yard line, it comes out to the 25. However, the penalty, because you do kick the ball out of bounds, you start the ball uh, at the 35. So uh, a 10 yard advantage for a poor kick, but being smart gets you at least back to the 25. Davis right off the slant route. So you know, now here come the Wildcats on, the on offense to start out this Davis. matchup, and we had already looked at Steve Kevius Williams, who is slated to start a quarterback, but this is a team that uses multiple quarterbacks here out of this offense. It does score a lot of points, and uh, this is not where they usually and score the most, though, here in the first quarter. Maybe trying to get settled in out of this spread offense, and it will be... An SC State defense that will certainly be tested here tonight after this or this afternoon with that little flare out left to the left hand side of pass that will get him nearly a first down. Well, there's a bonus key that I'll start out with, and for the Wildcats, they need to start fast. And right there, you see good yardage picked up on first down. So it's a high-velocity, up-tempo offense, but still they nearly picked off. approach the line Looking with Zola some Davis level the of decorum. Stephon Francois with the reception on that last flare out to the left. And now Williams will play action it and find a receiver on a second and one. Now third and one after the good stop 
Far side sideline. Yeah, and a good defensive play by the Bulldogs out to the left flat because you would think with a quick pass, especially to a big tight end, that you could pick up six feet. But no, the Bulldogs hold and make it third and one. And now a quick hit up the middle, getting that first down. Nice run by Tupac Ismi out of Naples, Florida. 5'11", one step down, barreling through to get the first down. Yes, and I'm going to say it. Uh, as a running back, Tupac Check kept his head up and got the first down. It's a great song. So mid, <laughs> 49 yard line still in their own territory, but Bethune Cookman picking up a much needed first to start out this series and a nice keeper and decision by Williams. You're absolutely right, D. Uh, the pressure came up the middle by the Bulldogs, and the rusher was going to go nowhere. It's going to go for a loss, but Akevius Williams wisely keeps the ball, tucks it under his left arm, breaks the first tackle, and then gets into the second level and picks up great yardage. Williams can throw the football well, but uh, right now we have seen now a couple runs. Get this wildcat right offense down going. PC and more. Dante and Myers territory. down toward the 15-yard line, marked out of bounds. Out right nice there. hit. And now the blue oh, the stop the there, and about three Good yards. But Myers lowering that there. shoulder and getting the job the done there for South right Carolina there. State is Quincy yards. Hill. You can see him put that move on him. That's an extra 10 yards for Myers. There's double numbers in college, and so I don't think that's Durant. I think that's the quarterback, but number 14 is absolutely correct, and a great hit from the secondary. Kobe Durant is player on the stop, second and seven now, and now throwing it out. Nice tip at the line. We've seen this a lot from South Carolina State throughout the course of their last few matchups, especially in conference play, and they're able to get those paws up and get the ball batted down. D, you don't have to get to the quarterback. What you do is you have to disrupt the passing lane. And as you mentioned, if you don't get to Williams, get your hands up so when he lets go of the ball, you can either tip it away, tip it up for your guy to intercept it, or knock it harmlessly to the ground. The team is fifth in the MEAC against the pass in South Carolina State. Only sending four. Nice stunt in the middle. Throw right, and it is caught. Reversing field and getting a much needed again first down inside the 20 yard line is Kevon Mitchell. A nice route. He pushed up to 15 on the stem, comes back, makes himself available. The ball is released by Williams even before Mitchell turns around and gets his hands up, finds the ball with his eyes, and completes the catch. And the most important part of the catch. Is in. Mitchell and Robinson, one of two starting seniors yeah, on this wide receiving core that's so good for the Wildcats. And now we have a new runner running out to the left-hand side is Isaac Washington. He does lead the team uh, in uh, rushes at the running back spot, at least. And Williams does overall, uh, but only by one carry. That's the 54th carry of the season for Washington. Brings it to the outside. Myers again. First down and touchdown. The defensive stop by the Bulldogs. You know, you can get as much yardage as you want between the 20s, but now at the red zone, at your opponent's 20, this is where, uh, you know, it's like kind of, Myers where you make your money. Three wide outs to the right, to the left. Williams flares it out again. And in for Keith Pearson. Even yeah. though this is a high yeah. volume passing yeah. team, you can see, the Steve, that, that they're not really balance. going down the field all that much right now. Yeah, oh, but they're getting the ball quickly the to the playmakers. And, you know, throw the ball the to the running back, get them out in space, pick up some good yardage. And now you're inside South Carolina State's red zone, inside the 20 yard line. And uh, you're looking the one. to try to get a score, but I think a first down can be picked up D at around the nine. Bringing it, bringing out Myers, bringing Third and six in coming up here. That's only that was Isaac back. Washington on the reception that is sixth of the game. year. Cody this, Montgomery and now in. on a third and six, another fly out to Jeter Washington. To he can't hold on to it. Walker. Even if he had, probably would have been stopped for no one. gain. And the Bulldog defense stiffening up here and bending <laughs> and certainly but not breaking. Here's going to be the question, are you going to go for it? Again, or are you comfortable in your kicker to have second. a reasonable field goal here on your yeah. first attempt? Yeah, it's Uriel Hernandez. He's one of the best kickers uh, they've had in a while. And in fact, the last time uh, BCU came in at Orangeburg and won, it was a 12-9 score. All field goals. And now Hernandez up for it here. He's one of two on the year so far. 
And uh, he will boot this so through and get the first PC. points on the board here for Bethune Cookman. 31 yarder. Touchdown. Myers stepped out of bounds. Two yards short. Uh, then an extra point in. on the next level, D. Hansen. The 33 yarder for a point after in the NFL. Again. Wildcats go Black down the down. field, get a score on the board. There, now the Bulldogs the will have their opportunity to come up with their first offensive area series you coming up here from Orangeburg, South Carolina. You're watching MEAC football right here on ESPN. Alexa, add bananas to my shopping list. Okay. First to goal from the two, and the Blue Hose can only get one. But here comes Gardner Duckworth, chip shot 20 yards out again, just his second. One of the top offenses of the in the MEAC, the top offense in the MEAC going down the field. And the, the best, uh, again, going down the field here um, against South Carolina State. Able to get three on the board, so South Carolina State now will have their first opportunity on offense coming up. Kickoff coming up again from Hernandez, who just hit a 31 yard field goal. Yeah, Jicey Eldell is declining it. He will boot this down, and it will be yeah, fielded at around the so two. Blue hose, Gardner Duckworth kicks it in and from 20 yards It out. might have been, we'll be had it been able to get back this up the base, back into the end the zone, but still. Plus. Now South Carolina State will come out, and obviously, Steve, we looked at the starting quarterback here for the Bulldogs the and Tyree Stick. He's coming off of a nice this. game. Uh, just like Williams did in last job. week's affair against uh, Morgan State. For dedicated services and associates. Uh, Nick to with in, out, and two touchdowns, one on the ground, about 60 day. yards rushing, and one through the air. And a 21 18 win on the road. The clean sweep. Now it's just Nick will trip. have his offense out on the field. The nose nip. The so out left in his drops. Groans from the crowd that was coming was the intended receiver. And it will be second down. They got it. Executed. The Cultivate most important part of the reception is at the man. end. At the end. And so right there, it looks like the eyes were taken off the yeah. pass. Trying to get upfield. I understand anticipation, but still, you got to go with the ball. Space, good blocking, good throw. Bad catch. Two back set now, and flags will fly. Bulldogs have had those moments during the course of the season, too. Well, we set against Norfolk State and multiple occasions on good drives where they'd be stunted to a certain degree or completely halted by penalties. Now we well, it's the personnel waste, getting them in and, and out, uh, and you can't just Artificial run on without going into the huddle. The way we feed the world. Or breaking the huddle with too many men. There's Try it again on a second and 15. And sports. Those are the things that reflect and culture the run. and change attitudes. Not going that far there by Omar the Cummings once again. Continues. Cummings probably had a better opportunity on the Reception opportunity Hashtag from Nick Scott right Mondays, there. Baby. Good Hashtag defensive Hashtag pressure up front Scott. by Bethune Cookman and a nice tackle. Yeah, Probably right at the backfield, but just the lean gets him back to the line of scrimmage. Tyrese Nick, the sophomore standing at six foot, will face a third and 14, but movement here on either side here we'll see. Welcome back to Bailey Memorial Stadium. Go against them. And John Ork here Usually when the play's blown dead, it's the offense. Usually. A long drive I see hands on hips, so that could be a defensive penalty in five yards in, however, to, so to a make a single digits for third down. Goal. Open scoring today. Drew Gilbert kicks things off. As the Pirates look to bring it back. That's exactly what it ends up being. On the move. Still confusing and it sometimes. Has a lot of Why don't let that play go? Yard line. That is Ronald Bell bringing the things back for the yep. Pirates. And he's Neutral zone infraction, the as they call it. Bell has got some quick moves there. SC stayed on the season 24% on third downs. 15 of 62. A third long situation. Staring at them in the face up down three to nothing. And now the pass and a quick slant is caught. And they're going to mark him at the 30. That is a fourth down coming up. Well, it was a great pitch and catch. The distance, though, was the issue there. Uh, tough reception and trying to get yards after the catch, but to no avail, and you're five yards short of what you needed. So it will be Jerome Petaway out to punt this. And Kayvon Mitchell, who averages around 10 yards a return. 
back to receive here for the Wildcats. High snap. And a wobbling kick, but it does carry and has some distance, but still Mitchell will be able to bring it back. He'll go up the field and good coverage down for the Dogs, and it'll be first and ten coming up here for the Wildcats of Bethune-Cookman. Another chance and opportunity on offense. Right here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, you're watching MEAC football on ESPN. You get to build toys for kids and change the world. It's a big deal. Making his second straight start, gain of three to the 41. Williams, a senior from BCU trying to break a two-game losing streak here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Bulldogs, Stephen D. Hanson joined by Steve Foster here on ESPN. We'll have the ball and the lead. Three and oh, the score, and looking for more as the Wildcats go to the air to start out this drive. It is going to be caught for about a 12-yard gain as the Wildcats continue to show how diverse they are on both sides of the football. But now are saying, I think, is incomplete. No, they're spotting the ball right where it was caught. Let's see if it was. Of the of the the offensive player, or he's that's all over the place. That's imagine that being a catch. Eight play action off to the outside. It's dropped. And there'll be a discussion, D. As well, there should be. Wow. And Fisher out there. Huh. Let's look at that again, Steve. Look at this. Knee is down. Yeah. I guess he did have control. Tough to tell. Nonetheless, it is first and ten now. And it'll be Williams looking devious. Overthrown and incomplete. Williams at the helm once again on a play action. Had a good touch on the ball. And after a few nice Williams runs, this play action is really taking direct. effect. You know, that one complete to Kayvon Mitchell. And boy, does he <laughs> take people with him. Now already into South Carolina State territory around the 43. Yeah, tough. Yardage pickup after the catch and D, that's almost 10 yards or more after the catch and it finishes with the scrum. Temperature starting to kick in. But a lot of strength out of the wide receiver Mitchell already with more than one catch on the day. Two at the top of the screen here again for Williams movement everywhere again and this should go against the Wildcats. I was looking earlier at the Bethune-Cookman offensive line and seeing if there was yeah, movement for motion and what's happening and we'll wait till this calls jump right on the spot, so finish. That was about the only possible penalty. There. If, if the but you have the right guard actually leaning to touch the center to tell him when to snap the ball and it looks like at first glance it's movement which would be a procedure call but it's not it's actually a signal over into blue hose territory williams completes it so williams once again five yards back near midfield nice delay on the draw hands it off and back nearly to the original line of scrimmage on that last carry and they'll bring up a second down here for bethune cookman again Play action off of the outside. Here's Darian Barney Wilson, more. Richard sophomore. <laughs> dodge a couple Five, ten, two, ten. Yards down to the 32. Dwayne Brown is the person well, on the right side of the line that you see leaning over to the center. After it's not movement. Design roll out left, transfer. thrown and caught it once again. These receivers for there. Bethune Cookman the really. They are reliable as all get out Malik Jackson with the reception. And the nice thing that I like about Williams is he doesn't care who he throws the ball to as long as they're catching it. And that's going to keep a defense at least honest in this first half. You can't try to take away one weapon or the other when it comes to throwing the ball because even the running back has also had a catch from the backfield. This week as well. Here goes Robinson again. On third down conversions. Bethune Cookman trying to up that mark here but a timeout will be taken on the field by Terry Sims, his fourth year as the head coach there for the Wildcats. And they're leading 3-0 here on the road with six and a half to go in the first quarter of play. And a third and one coming up. Steve, do you think that was a matter of BCU just not seeing what they liked on defense? or? You know, it could be a variety of 
of issues. Wrong set for the play, wrong personnel for the play. You have an opportunity where you can make a difference if you pick up this first down. And so if you believe that you got a team that's won the last two, even on the road, you want to make sure you get things right. It's worth taking a timeout. Change of pace for Presbyterians on the first drive. Made up eight minutes and 25 seconds, one of the longest of the season. 13 plays, 66 yards. Visit BigSouthSports.com. Wildcats have State won their last two, the Big South sitting at three and three, and one and one in the conference. And much more. Check the guy South Carolina State, State one and one in the conference, video one and four on the season. Student athletes from across the conference. Remember, the source for all third your and one is BigSouthSports.com. Run blitz up the middle is missed. And Bethune Cookman will get the first down easily up the middle to the actually more to the right hand side. Dupac is meet with the carry and a first down. And a good looking play because the penetration because of that blitz was into the backfield of the Wildcats, but a nice adjustment sliding the hole to. The right one hole made all the difference to pick up the first down. Trips right ball in the middle of the field now, first and ten, design rollout, and then going the opposite direction is Ismi. There's a flag on the play, but Ismi with a huge gain near the ten before he's drug out of bounds. Yeah, and that was a great play call. I love the misdirection, but I think there's going to be a hold in the backfield, D. But I love how you set the defense up. I call it football judo, using the momentum and their rush to come to the right and then run back to the left where it looks like. It won't matter here. Is, yes. It is a holding call. I like the play call, the design of the play. As you see in the replay, just a little bit of the hold frees up the rusher. But that type of play is a running back's best friend because it allows you to get in space and to make a move and you saw even though there was a penalty excellent yardage was gained first and 20 now facing on the right side of the offense the cats and it will be williams airing it out deep left sideline and incomplete just overthrowing his intended receiver good coverage downfield and that'll bring up a second and 20 coming up here for the Wildcats. Alex Brown, number 30. And a little hand fighting going on, D. Hansen down the field. And I think it's good to let that go because I don't think there was enough to show that the receiver was impeded from trying to make a play. But, of course, as a former offensive guy, I always want you to throw the flag if I don't make the catch. Even Burson on the coverage. That speed of Byron Barney as he found the open run up space the mill doesn't Trent gain Carrington. much. And the Pirates close second and 20. Ismi with the carry becomes third and long. Interesting play call there. Trying to catch the Bulldogs, maybe coming up field too quick. And you know, get, as they call it, a quick hitter. And then you let your running back get to that second level where the linebackers are, make a guy miss, and see if you can break one for a long. Gainer, but it fooled no one on the Bulldog side. In fact, there's a short gainer. So it's third and 17, five minutes. So Hampton and trips right that PC drive with good spacing on the right side of the field. Play action and a screen set up for Ismi is overthrown and incomplete. How big that holding call was. We went from a massive game by Ismi to now a long distance here on either a field goal or a punt short punt and that's going to be the decision that the Wildcats need to make and they're going to punt so it will be Giovanni Francis he's had eight inside the 20 punting it away near midfield and we'll see if he can cough and corner this one at one time or another, nearly every family in the Lakelands has been touched by South Regional. Hitting at the regional. one and just go, just go back, get back into the end zone. What a win that was for SC State. Now they have staff very favorable starting field position. The area. And a second so offensive series coming up. Close by. It's healthcare the way it should be. A that right now in the first quarter, late family. stages, we continue we on here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. You're one.
Bulldogs defense get the job done. Hand the ball back over the offense here, Steve. And we'll see if Mick can get this ball moving on this particular offensive series. Bulldogs and Bethune-Cookman Wildcats in action here in MEAC play. Nice little flare out left. It is caught this time and trying to rally the troops a nice the gain of nearly five to six yards the on the pitch and catch. That one to Jarius Jenkins and uh, second and manageable coming up here for the Bulldogs. Pass a little high, but Jenkins does the right thing, makes the catch first before he starts running. D. Hansen comes near side to his sideline. And hey, anytime you get four more yards on first down, I think it's a win. Shirt sophomore getting more involved in the offense as the season has gone on. And thrown out of bounds. Nick again out of the shotgun. By Robert Prunty Jr., Four and change left Robert in this first Prunty quarter. We'll skip this Adam one in. Obviously incomplete. Nice Burroughs the intended so receiver. Burroughs was short of the first down, which was interesting because all he needed to run a five-yard stop, but it didn't matter anyway because that one was one-hopped to him by Nick, so just bad execution by the Bulldogs on second down. When you look at their statistics, BCU, lots of movement, low snap, firing, firing down, deep down field. And, well, at least, complete, I think, at least the officiating crew allowed, looks like an offsides again by Bethune-Cookman to at least have the play continue. Jermaine Baxley. Good field goal Some good size on it, 6-3, the intended receiver down the right sideline. But it is offsides against Bethune Cookman, who now they're the ones with a couple of penalties here, one on offense and now here on defense, shooting themselves in the foot. Well, it's surprising because three defensive linemen, D, jumped before the ball was snapped. So it seemed like none of them were looking, or all of them are trying to move on Nick's voice. Good against the pass this season, and it will be picked off at the 40. Reversing field to the left sideline. This could go and into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Trevor Merrick, a, a great one-handed deflection interception, and Merritt knows what to do once he catches the ball, D. Hansen. There is Merritt at 185, rocking it down the left sideline for the pick six. BCU extends their lead 9-0 as we have an extra point coming up. You can say 41, 42 yards on the interception return to the house. Well played there again by Merritt, who's able to stick around. And it looked like more of the wide receiver for South Carolina State was the defender on that particular situation. Here's Hernandez with the PAT attempt. Perfect afternoon so far for Walker. Five for five for 62 yards if it stands. Snap is down and punching it through is Hernandez. So with 342 left here in the first quarter of play, 346, excuse me, it is now 10 to nothing after that long interception for a score. What I was about to say as that pass was being thrown is that Bethune Cookman, They've given up a lot of points this season. They're around 31 and change. But they lead, they're tied to the lead of the conference in INTs with nine with Morgan State. And that pick six just goes along with that. This is another uh, team, though, in Bethune-Cookman. They've been doing it for multiple seasons on defense and turning their opponents over. Well, and not just taking the ball away, but there we see points put on the board by the defense of the Wildcats. And a great effort, as you mentioned, by Merritt, the junior, to get all the way back into the end zone. And he was patient around the four or five yard line and come back inside DeHanson. And that's what got him into the end zone. Hernandez now at his own 35. We'll kick it off. Angles this one perfectly for a kickoff, just enough to be able to also be brought out of the back of the side of the end zone. And this time he'll find now South Carolina State having a tough go at it down 10 0 and deep in their own territory after the return. That by Kamal Armstead. 
when they picked up on a, I tell you the, on a scheme the, that uh, Hampton was. The issue was, did you want to let the ball try to bounce the out of the end zone or out of bounds? Because you only got back to the 13-yard line, D, and you could have got at least another 12 yards at a minimum. But right now, starting on the 13. That was Tayshawn Baines, excuse me, and a freshman making that choice. Happens. Nick's got to go a long way to get his team into the end zone. Sophomore now shouldering a lot of this offense has for a majority of this season. A timeout taken on the field. Six for seven on by South Carolina State. Season. They have two remaining. First Both teams with two now in this first quarter Dante play. At 3:39. It's interesting. Also taking a timeout, fresh into a new offensive set. But I'm sure Coach Poe wants to make sure that they've got all their ducks in a row to start out this particular series, which might be a big one. This is a good offense here with the Wildcats. Well, that is also 12 yards right, closer to your own end zone than the complimentary a fair catch or letting the ball go through the end zone and already and down by 10 in the first the quarter. You don't want to get far behind this Wildcat offense. In the first. And this has been an offense, the game was particularly with South Carolina State, State like that, that has certainly the upped the, the numbers the through the course of their back. last few games, you know, but still it's, it's finding their identity. The new offensive coordinator in Bennett Swiger. And now they will get to the ground Great and back to basics fans. here. It's a good Big one, an eight-yard game. Yeah, good play off the right side. And, yeah, that's discount. basic Visit football. Push your man, a create a today. running lane, and square your shoulder pads and right there a great job on first down Lincoln's getting a lot of attention here and touches the first quarter Nick now surveys the defense and well that was Ronald Cook Bell sending four up while being tackled on said kickoff Antonio Graham back to return this one and it will be a keeper by Wolves. Nick and he has some room right, breaks it back in and has a first down Byron Barney that's what you like, the versatility. You don't have to run 80 yards and score a touchdown, but what you can do is get four more opportunities potentially for your offense. And Nick's not a huge runner. I mean, he, he does, but he only averages around three and a half per carry. He's, he mixes it up enough so you can't just key on his pass. He's, he is mobile, but he doesn't use it as the major part of the offense. And now nice seam. And... Literally an ankle tackle near the 40, and that's Jenkins again. Yeah, and a good change of pace there. Now you have to respect maybe a fake by Nick, and he carries out the fake, but Jenkins is the one that gets into that second level, and a basic running play again brings up great yardage. To the line now, and Nick will hand it off and get a first down. Exactly what the doctor ordered. If anything else, keep the defense off the field and... This offense show, getting gaining momentum and also some level of, of optimism. It has been a tough start here for South Carolina State. Well, South Carolina State on the offensive side of the ball is now winning the line of scrimmage. And a shift to the left out of the shotgun. Jenkins, the back, and he will not get it. It will be a throw because that looked forward to me there from Nick, and that will be caught. He's a good ball. And a fight for the ball. But the play blown dead. That one, one doesn't go anywhere. complete to Jermaine Baxley, the redshirt senior. And a flag on the play. Want your DBs, defensive backs to be able to sit back there. And that's at the end of the play, T. Hansen, because the officials were like, the forward progress was stopped. So now give me the ball, but a little extracurricular on the defensive side. Look at that. <laughs> it's the, it's the, I haven't seen that very often. It's the lateral of the, the Holmes <laughs> uh, play with the left hand coming in the same side of the field for the Kansas City Chiefs, but right there. Uh, good heads up play by Nick, but too much extracurricular on defense. Now Jenkins will get the call again, and he will at the 49. Get that much farther into BCU territory, and this is again just what SC State really needed on offense. This may be close enough for a first down or a measurement, if not third and short. 
left the tackle out there, which is the bigger, heavier I think guy. they got a first down on that penalty. Oh, that's right. That's right. So now, yeah. nope, just got the You're first. Right. Is Williams is the second leading rusher on the team. Had a career high 115 yards on the ground last week. This goes to Rayshot Harriet, who stays in bounds, has the first down, keeps on pushing all the way down to the 29. Trent Carrington eventually brings him down. But there is a flag way back at the 49. Yeah. He had a chance to find even a seam. Good penetration up the That's gut by Jerome Howard, the sophomore. Well, here Nick should have probably kept the ball because the penetration by the defensive line of Bethune-Cookman won that play. The edge would have probably allotted for more than a negative one-yard gain or loss, I should say. Movement on the line again, low snap. No whistle, deep ball right side is caught at the 13-yard line. Demo Burrows with the reception, the junior staying with it, as did Nick. With 22 seconds to go, SC State might get something on the board before the end of the quarter. Well, good recognition to continue on with the play. And Bethune Cookman has been playing with fire with these neutral zone and offside penalties and right there Nick makes him pay. Freezes the defender now finds Harriet oh. out to the left side. Burroughs will come off the field and Jenkins on. Much to the adulation of all the fans here. He, he got hammered on that one. He got hit high and low. Long look in here for PC Nick. Defense is not giving up. And the clock and runs. A little snap there uh, collected, Williams and now the deep hemmed, ball. And it looked like the Wildcats, ball. the majority of them just stopped. Yes. And with it, the first quarter comes Jenkins to gets end. the carry, and he is fires up the fans here. the wrong the side. Sometimes Stadium. you don't have time. You just have to go. And he had a hard run to there to try to find you we'll room. And also ran into Richard senior Kevin Thompson on the end, and that will do it here for the first quarter of play as the SC State Bulldogs have something brewing. They need it. They're down 10 nothing at home here to Bethune Cookman and the Wildcats who have been on fire. On to the second quarter we go here in Orangeburg, South Carolina in MEAC action. You're watching MEAC football right here on ESPN. every day. We really like having Aaron around, but we're concerned he takes his name a bit too literally. We are back here in Orangeburg, South he Carolina. D. Hanson joined by right. Steve Foster. About to get underway with the second quarter of play in MEAC action as a South Carolina State Bulldogs are down 10 nothing here to Bethune Cookman, but There's knocking on the door, sitting at around the 10. We've switched sides, obviously, attitudes. now, and it'll be week, the, the red-clad Bulldogs in action, handing it off. Jenkins finding some room on the right edge, and he will be Hashtag down at the two. Mondays, baby. Here's a great thing. <laughs> First down as well, so four Charles downs to get into the end zone now. <laughs> Great pursuit there by the defense, but a lot of great yardage inside the red zone. D. Hansen to the two yard line, first and goal. Jenkins running like a man possessed here so far in this pack. Nicely was he was very patient in moving the ball towards the outside, away from the defense and to the edge, so that he only had to deal with inside out pursuit. And he almost got in the end zone. Short stoppage of play here. Now it's first down and goal to go from the two yard line. A lot of room there on the left-hand side. Jenkins stays in. Nick. It's just a stupid out of the shotgun. It'll be a handoff to Jenkins, and he is met by a wall of maroon and white, and won't find any room. Second down. I think now Tyrese Nick is going to have to use his decision-making skills to figure out if the best thing is to give the ball to Jenkins or maybe to keep it and try to sprint to the pylon. Jenkins trying to get his second rushing score of the year. You can also throw the ball, too. You can throw the ball. It's been done. Massive shift left-hand side now. 
Presbyterian leading the visiting Pirates Nick, 10 to 7. Again, the Memorial Stadium will keep it actually this time and roll his way to the one. Williams, appreciate you being along with us. Just shy of the goal line. I'll bring up a third down. In the Palmetto State, play action. Delvin now Williams here's the opportunity. The right He's shown the running back with the rush. You've shown the quarterback with the rush. Lorenzo now make it where there's an the option of run pass. That'll make it second down and eight. 12 yard gain, excuse me, third Big day. momentum shift here so far, even in just this drive back. here for the Bulldogs, but they want, they want to cap it off with a score. And now Nick will keep it roll out and he will dash in for the end zone and score the touchdown. Well, he ran to the pylon. That was an option, D. Hansen, and a great one for Nick in his decision making. Use the feet, as you mentioned, three plus yards rushing, which is serviceable because when you use those three yards at the right time, you can either pick up first downs as he's done earlier in the game or a touchdown here. Third rushing score of the year for the sophomore quarterback. Here comes the extra point. Six penalties by against Dylan Bredesen. And he will have it blocked. And it's again. being returned all the way down the right sideline. Nobody even close. Trying to extend this one's in. And into the end zone is Kennedy. Check it most likely for the return. Right what a change of events, D. Hansen. Just seemed like the left side of the field goal or extra point team just broke down and the ball bounced the right way for the Wildcats. Once again on Albert Carlisle, this one declined. What a block in return. Bethune Cookman now with a 12 to 6 lead. Here is the return. And we'll return back to see how South Carolina State reacts to this. You're watching MEAC football right here on ESPN. All time Presbyterian D1. ESPN Plus has a free trial. The food that we are consuming right now, not free. Boy, what have we not had in this game? A return for a touchdown on an INT here by Bethune Cook. But now uh, we have a beautifully played uh, call and play uh, here by the Bulldogs on the touchdown by Nick in the misdirection. And now a blocked extra point returned for three by Kennedy and Nukwe down the right sideline and it's 12 to 6 13 18 left here in the first half play d is joined by steve foster miak action is well underway here in orangeburg south carolina at bulldog stadium and now a big return on the kickoff here to the wildcats who are back on offense yes and the special teams playing a huge role already in this first half and it was one of the defensive backs that got through, knifed in right through the A-gap between the snapper and the first blocker. And that allowed Nduque to find a fortuitous bounce. And, man, you know, there's nobody back there. you got the kicker going forward to kick. The holder is on one knee. It's going to be tough to catch a guy that plays in the secondary, and that's what we saw, a two-point return for the Wildcats. Big special teams play. That was uh, – Joseph Johnson on the return, and Nduque also again on the special teams enforcement unit. I like that, the special teams enforcement unit. Now here is the Wildcats again back on offense, and a carry right-hand side, sprinting right sideline, and another big gain here is this offense for the Wildcats loves the second quarter. The run by Jimmy Robinson. This is a, a team in Bethune-Cookman who's now scored 101 points in just the second quarter alone on the seasons. That's by far their best quarter. It's not even close. I don't know what they like about the second quarter, but they do like it. Well... It doesn't matter which quarter they like. As long as they're scoring a lot of points, that's what a team wants. Trips left-hand side, and they are the number one scoring team here in the MEAC at just around 37 points per game, but a flag flies here. 
And this will be against the Wildcats. So here now, the Wildcats get called for the lean by the guard. As mentioned earlier, that was just a sign to let the center know when to snap the ball. Now it seems like the officiating crew is going to decide to possibly call that illegal procedure. That was almost targeting. Wildcats still well into Bulldog territory. Williams will hand it off. And I don't know how he didn't go down, but he gets back with a five-yard gain to the original line of scrimmage. It was Robinson again, and that will bring up a second and ten. So you bring in a shiftier, quicker back into the backfield. Not as much size. Nope, 5'8", 160. But very he quick. Can move. Yes. He can move. Kevius Williams, the red shirt junior, out of the shotgun, claps the hands, and South Carolina shows blitz. Keeper by Williams, big hole, left hand side, breaks it back in, nearly tripped up, still on his feet, finds the right side, great blocking into the end zone for the score. Oh my, it looks like it's unbelievable. They're about 35 yards, D. Hansen. 36 yards, excuse me. Ball was on the 36. And it, if you look at this replay, this is one of you call those PlayStation specials. Because right now the snap is high to Williams. Williams has to control the snap. Fakes to the rusher, comes left side, cuts back inside in front of his blocker, doesn't use his blocker. Then gets a couple of blocks by the wide receivers downfield. Ball hits the upright and comes back. What is going on? Unbelievable. 19 to 6 a score. And the Wildcats talk about wrangling back the momentum in this game with a blocked extra point and then coming down the field as well and scoring a quick score. And then they miss the extra point. Right. So really the two-point return only gave him one. Right here you see again Williams coming in. We'll be right back. We'll look at this more. You're watching MEAC Football on ESPN. ESPN Plus has a free trial. Okay. The food that we are right consuming right now, Pearson. not free. Uh, wildcat and it does not work. And think that the mission of today's game, Steve, is to see how many ways you can and can't score. Right. We've, we've checked a lot of boxes that are normally not even remotely checked. Well, we haven't had a passing touchdown yet, so. I should have been more specific because one of my two keys for South Carolina State was score touchdowns, not field goals, but then I didn't talk about it in other words. Yeah. Here's Hernandez, Uriel Hernandez with the kickoff, and a shallow kick is fielded and brought back up. And again, very nice return there up to around the 36-yard line is Tayshawn Baines. Here's the play. Got the touchdown again, and a good get it out of the way move by an offensive lineman. But then downfield, two of the receivers were great blocks to clean up the last six or seven yards for Williams as he scoots into the end zone, as we said, from about 36 yards. So the two birds, one stone there. We had a one block on two guys. And nice that no hanky hit the, flat, hit the field. Good effort. 18 to 6 is the score. And South Carolina State, they were able to move the ball very well their last set. They're going to try to do the same here again. And Jenkins was a major part of that series last time out to get a score. And now they're going to be mixing it up a little bit more on the offensive side. Although, obviously, Tyrese Nix is still in there at quarterback. Look like James in there. With the carry, D. Hansen. NCAA Division I FCS football is a Tron game James of perseverance. With play action integrity, now and passion, tips in and nearly intercepted, but ha falls harmlessly down to the, down the ground. Now it's Trenton Bridges, the linebacker. And Bridges, <laughs> Bridges, unfortunately, has a cast on his right hand and forearm. He may have made the interception. Good timing. Every day. But well defended. The ball goes to the turf, but if there are two hands, you may have seen Bridges have an INT. 
James is the second leading rusher on the team and just getting some carries now here in the second quarter of play. Third and seven here for the Bulldogs. A big one as they're trying to stay in this game down by 12. Or at least keep the momentum at bay and a deep ball down right side. Double coverage on both not only the underneath but also over top. And that will go incomplete as well. Fourth down. Merritt and Peters doing a good job in the secondary for the Wildcats. Juan Caldwell was blanketed on that one. So now the Big South would like to Bulldogs will be forced to punt. It's a good word choice. He was absolutely blanketed. There was nowhere for that ball to get in safely to the receiver. Drove Petaway. Low snap is collected, and Petaway gets it away. Gets it the 24, hops sideways, and is touched up. Here by the Bulldogs and that dangerous offense for Bethune Cookman about to come back out on the field. Cornelius Walker down on the coverage there for the Dogs. Well, a good opportunity for field possession change. But South Carolina State has to hold, get the ball back, and then score and make this game interesting before half D. Defense for South Carolina State has been tested throughout. We've seen them against a very good offense against Norfolk State and had their moments as well. Kept the offense and the team in it majority of the time. This is a, a pivotal part in the game. You can already feel it now. Bethune Cookman with the lead and the ball. Around their own 22-yard line. And here's Williams again, and he'll hand it off. They've been able to find the edge here, have the Cats. On the right side, and the run by Washington is a good one. Yeah, once you get outside the numbers, D, you really just want to make things a foot race because you know that the defense can only tackle you from one direction, and then you just use the speed once you get around the corner. Washington averaging around five yards per carry. Gets well over that. A couple more yards, second and two. Kevius Williams with the play action now goes middle, right-hand side, caught. Still on his feet, the tackling, having a hard time bringing him down. That's Kayvon Mitchell, who we've seen already show not only that he can catch, but he can run with players on top of him. Yeah, tough guy to bring down. First opportunity when he was first touched in a previous reception, he went for about 12 more. He did the same on this last catch. The Kobe Duran on the coverage. Top of the screen, you can see that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Play action again, and now hounded. Nice maneuver, rolling right and rolling and firing right out of bounds. I like that. I like that, D. Don't be a hero. The great thing was that you escaped great pressure up the middle by South Carolina State, and you didn't take the loss. Once you're outside of the tackle box, as they call it, you have the ball and you throw it past the line of scrimmage, it's not intentional grounding. You live to fight another day. Cordell Brown, redshirt senior, Adam in his sights. Had Williams in his sights, just couldn't get to him. Gotta be frustrating. Second and 10. Long delay, huge gap left, but quickly the red jerseys make a difference there, and that will bring up a third down. That was a good play call, but it looked like it just, at the end, the blocks were not sustained just a tad bit enough to have that play break open. So a great recovery on the line for the defense of South Carolina State. Bruce Johnson staying home, made the play on that last one. And now third and 10, a big play here with the defense for South Carolina. Passes incomplete left side. Good coverage there in the left side of the field. That one by Zafir Kelly. And that will bring up a fourth down. And the defense really coming up big here for the Bulldogs. They needed that stop. You're absolutely right, D, because now you can get the ball back and see if Nick can go ahead and get some points on the board. And close the gap of this 18-6 game and then fight all the way through and see what you can do in the second half. As we know, South Carolina State 
Pelicans score in that third quarter. Giovanni Francis about to put it off. Here for South Carolina State to receive will be Baines. Plus, find and Porter follow Bose. The Here is the kick. Porter Bose Game says, Day. I'm not follow getting near Fox, that. Like and it goes out of bounds. Deep in their own territory, the Bulldogs will be, but they at least will also now have the football back in their offensive Time side of the, of the ball. Now 18 to 6 here at home to the Wildcats of Bethune Cookman. Chicken farming is a tough business. I don't know how Vaughn does it. Hung up in the air for. Over 55 yards. Bulldogs of South Carolina State looks to get their <laughs> offense back That's in gear, especially on the ground. Steve, that. That's really where they have made their hay this season here in Miak play, taking on Bethune Cookman down 18 to 6. Second quarter of play, and the pitch right is snuffed out. Nowhere to go. Good coverage there by Deron Maxwell for. The Wildcats, and that will bring up a second down and long, which the Bulldogs would like to not have to deal with all that much. Gerald Manigault with the uh, run or the attempt on one at least there for South Carolina State. And then burst through it. Gain of 13 on the play to the Hampton 37. Good pace. Tyrese Nick with the handoff. Keeping it conservative. The run to the right. The good tackling the at the point uh, where this Bethune Cookman is meeting strong. up with the rushers from South Carolina State, and the nowhere the for the rushers up. to go when they meet the defense. And third and long. Mark Cummings with the middle, one. Trenton Bridges with Keith the stop. Pearson to the end zone, touchdown Blue Hole. Third and 11 already here for South Carolina State. Two receivers at the top of the screen. A shift to the left. Jenkins back to the backfield with Nick. Nick design roll out left. Then goes back out right, has a lot of room to roll, but now quickly is swallowed up at around the 19 yard line. All kinds of time. Had a moment there, I'm sure, to try to pass Once it downfield, but when you change the offensive the set that much and bring it all the way back on the other side, it was up to him to try to get the first down with the legs. Yeah, so there was going to be eight more yards that would have needed to be picked up. And listen, you don't want to knock your first string quarterback out of the game in the first half when there's yeah, not going to be an opportunity to pick up yard the yardage to, to move the chain. So wisely get out of bounds. Hope that your punt team can change and flip the field. You can see Nick there coming over to his OC and Swagger discussing that last play. Here is the punt by Petaway. Field at the 35, watch Mondays, out, right side, midfield. I mean, all the way across, nope. Keep it there, and then brought down around the 36. Great return. My goodness. Kevon Mitchell with the return. You don't need He's showing you all kinds of different ways he can affect this game. Just now on special the teams. The commitment and to get to the far sideline, cuts back into the middle, anytime, finds a running anywhere. lane, we need more most MVPs, importantly protects the ball when he gets tackled. To join our team. To Finally join brought down there by Janelle an Brown. We do not allow to win. But Shirt Jr. If we've Short got field though, Jr. Player down here for Shred Hate. Then ESPN and X Games are they up to Shred Hate. Learn more at ShredHate.org. to be without that it's Sam Mark. It's just a stupid old chair. High stakes and a playoff spot on and the Mark line. Mark the Richard, sophomore Very from Miami. lucky stupid old chair. Excited about Miami, huh? Not really. <laughs> like it. Well, it's just interesting football. because, again, the Wildcats matchup. from Daytona Beach area, so that's northern Florida, closer to the Georgia border, and it is Miami. That's right. Just a little geography lesson in case you thought you were both fascinated. Well, three bowl games. You bring more to the table than just football. Three bowl games in Miami at the original old school Orange Bowl, so. They told him more of a spring break stop. Typically. Yes. Or a NASCAR stop. And now it will be not what you want to see. Well. Whenever you have a player you need to have that much help to get off and really favoring obviously that right leg. Right. So Mark gets back out on the field somehow. Or that he's okay. Whenever you see the towel go over the head of the player, Steve. What is that usually indicating? 
Well, that that may just mean that whoever came well, out to assist you back to South just Carolina's. didn't want it on the shoulder, just Tommy gave that to cool off the, the player and assist, and, you the know, getting him to cooled off, the unfortunately, Pirates. after a mishap. Well, the Bulldog defense trying to do the same more? here, cooling off the offense for BCU. As Williams is back out on the field out of the shotgun, he has been manning the offense the entire time. Shows a little bit on the possible handoff, but throws right hand side. It is caught, and then staying on his feet and getting a first down is Avon Mitchell, and he's been doing that all game long. He refuses to go down. Well, he's been in the weight room. Because not a big player, however, the leg drive is just, I mean, that was three yards the hard way. Sophia Kelly on the coverage. And now here's a run by Williams. He'll sprint through and get into the end zone for a touchdown. 25 yards there. You get the first down pickup by Mitchell with the second effort. And then you get Williams with the second effort. And again, in the same area that he scored his first rushing touchdown. Back to back rushing scores for the quarterback for BCU. And the extra point coming up here for Hernandez. And these have not been automatic by any stretch. So watch this. Well, he kept the field goal, then he missed the extra points. Seven yards. Now he's got a blocked extra point. Down up to the 40. Here is Hernandez, and he will boot this through with a now much more expanded lead here for the Wildcats. There was an opportunity here when Williams dashes for 25 and a touchdown. Could have had an opportunity to get slowed and stopped in the backfield by Bruce Johnson, but. Williams strong enough to break the initial attempt to tackle him in the backfield after the fake. blows it up this time. So big series coming up here for South Carolina State. We keep on iterating that, but now, I mean, this is one of those instances that either take a lot of time off the clock, got to get maybe a score on the board, be in double digits when you go in at half. You're absolutely right. And again, the momentum is the other thing. Now, South Carolina State will start with the ball after the half. So if you could get a score here and turn around a score, that's kind of hitting the daily double, and you've got to reduce the lead by the Wildcats. It'll be Francis to kick it off. And it's incomplete. Colby for Campbell. For the Wildcats, line driver. Byron Barney, he comes up screaming for a flag. But Fielded and brought up. Campbell wants none of it. Out of his own end zone. Good blocking and stiff arming. Somehow able to stay in bounds there even more. Is Tayshawn Bain trying to make something out of it? And there's a flag on the field, as you can see. Well, right about the 15 on the return, you see a, a white jersey kind of going fl flying by, and that was the block in the back. Yep. Traditionally. And the problem with that at the 15 is half the distance to the goal. Davis retreating to his own. BCU trying to avert their third straight loss on the road or here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Looking at least here in the first half to have an excellent shot of doing so at 25 to 6. Last time they won here in Orangeburg, 27 14, was the score in 2012. Oh, right now they're in pretty good position and their defense playing well already with a pick six. Introducing E-Trade personalized so investments. So now after that penalty deep in their own territory inside their own tent of the Bulldogs. Financial goals. And here is Nick with the You'll keeper and has a nice running room down the right sideline. So you can spend more time out of bounds. About There's enough time in this second quarter D. Hansen, for a score to occur and then again the Bulldogs will get the ball Details to start the second the half. So hopefully put on two two scores or so can cut Pros this lead in half or even more. Lowe's for dedicated services and associates to get you in, out, and back to business. Save 5% every day. Still more yardage needed here, and running plays up the middle are going to be hard to come by. That's just a train wreck. No room to roam there for Jenkins. And a third and 16 on a one-yard game there for Jenkins. You mentioned the Wildcats playing good defense. 
They are. And this has not been a huge staple of theirs, other than obviously forcing the turnovers they have. Been doing that a lot, but giving up points all season long. I'm going to lunch. You want some lunch? Here's Nick on the design roll. It has room, then reverses it left. And nice idea, but then it was deflected. And that will be incomplete. Kevin Thompson coming through. A better SUV dares to ask why not. Like, Tipping that not there for Bethune Cookman and forcing the fourth down. The well, two things. Why not first class comfort? One, Honda, a the Bulldogs have the SUV punt. Brand for well, two, you alerted us earlier <laughs> that I'm Bethune Adam, Cookman loves the second quarter the when it comes to scoring. And they've already I scored paint, twice. I can mold, I can code. With I can an opportunity take an idea for a third. A sketch and turn it into a real right away, we'll try to make it a little different story, but a timeout will be taken on the field. With 4.53 left in the first half of play. Back to work. Next first up for their own line leading, South Carolina seven. State, they have and the Delaware State Hornets. In the first half. That'll be homecoming game. Pearson. He gets nowhere. In fact, and he's going backward in a hurry. That Donald will be Smith a tough one there up. for them. Like but uh, first things first, how do you reverse things that are going on? In this game, as you go into the locker room, let's say there's no more scoring, and then you have a second half that uh, at least you get the ball to start out. Well, you got to put together a sustained drive or get a big explosive play. But you got to get yourself into the end zone. You've done that already once. Now you got to repeat, and that's what's so tough. It makes teams real good versus teams that are average. That away gets it off, and it will be a nice kick. Off to it's a nice Jeter bulldog the bounce. Will be out here to try to the clock. touched inside the 30. A lot of whistles. <laughs> a lot of whistles yeah, going off, but you're right. A great punt to flip the field. You could possibly get a stop still, D, if you're South Carolina State. But now they're moving the ball up to the 40. Still, if you shut down this Bethune-Cookman Wildcat offense, you can still get the ball back and try to put something on the board before half. Now, Petaway has been doing a great job all season long. He's averaging nearly 43 yards a punt. As long as 71. He has nine inside the 20. This is a making a good name for himself, being able to do that. But you never want your star to be your punter. No. Even if you had Ray Guy, you don't want the star, even if, to be the punter. Always working the Raiders somehow. I like that. Each, I know that. Okay, that. it will be Williams now out of the shotgun, and he will hand it off. I don't imagine BCU is going to get all that much more conservative here. They do have a timeout remaining and four and a half to go, but they do run it to start out here to the right-hand side to Ismay. Well, you can get another good stop. If you're South Carolina State, you may want to use one to at least set up a two-minute drill opportunity for Nick to get some type of points and momentum back going into half. Long look in here as Williams. Some nice poise also for quarterback here for BCU. Will wind it up and throw. And that will be caught for a very short gain there by Malik Jackson. The officiating crew did not stop the clock after that catch. They did not. But third and ten, D, and this is what the Bulldogs need right here. To get a stop because no yardage has been picked up by the Wildcats. And Nick needs to get his team on the board again. More wideouts there budged here. Two on each side, obviously. Here comes the modest blitz rolling out against it as Williams flags fly. But it's picked off! At midfield and bringing it up to the 45, exactly what South Carolina State needed. A turnover, Zafir Kelly, the sophomore. Right place, right time. Well, that's the tip drill, and you're right, number seven in the secondary for the Bulldogs makes the catch. They may just decline this penalty. Well, I mean, I can't imagine why they wouldn't. Swigert's so really getting into this now, getting his offense back in gear. 48-yard line of Hampton. Most people All feel this would be a holding call. Good penetration there by South Carolina State's Bruce Johnson, number 98. 12 tackles on the season for the senior DE. 
3.15 now and no two timeouts here for the Bulldogs. And advantageous probably holding territory. The 43 of BCU. Here's Jenkins. He finds a little bit of room. Wrinkled down inside the 40. Nice little counter play. Start to the right, come back to the left. D. Would have been nice to pick up one more and make it second and six, but right now, keep the tempo going and use all four downs if you need to. Another run right, and Jenkins stays on his feet. Ball is loose at the 33. I think his offensive lineman may have saved him there. Third down. Excuse me. Yep, third time. down. For the middle complete. On the Demo Burroughs knew where it was going to go. That could have been a bigger play. The possession stays with South Carolina State. 242 left now and a handoff left hand side. No keeper by Nick. Spin move inside the 20 to the 15. He stopped at the 14 yard line. And a great call and decision by the sophomore quarterback. Because everybody crashed down inside on the running back. And there was a running lane. I did. A <laughs> couple before Jarrett Nagy and Jai C. Right. combined to bring him down. Now, they're substituting. <laughs> now in the red zone of the Wildcats. There are two to go here, and Nick will this time definitely hand it off, finding the edge left hand side. Flag flies well away from the play. Williams in and the run trouble. goes Let's inside go. the 10 yard line. It they is try James. Oh. Look at James did the right thing, but unfortunately, this could be a 10 yard penalty against the, the Bulldogs. That receiver actually wound up playing defense. If we get a good replay here, there's a good, should be a good camera. He's holding right now, and that will bring out. Let's see what happens right here. A much different scenario. Right here, he covers it. And, and play you, calling. You see, yep. He had. He had ability taken here steps, for South Carolina it, State. But never had total control. Alec Dana. Down 25-6, but having a chance to cut into that lead before half. So third and eight now for the Pirates. Play action. Nick goes middle of the field. It'll be dropped at the, around the 11-yard line. Evan Lomax's career long is 46. Pretty good route, but this better coverage. It'll be a first down. Right Myron Warren Caldwell, Caldwell, Caldwell. Like, no, redshirt like, senior. Okay. Uh, Chester, Hard South Carolina. It looked like Merritt. The receiver went out of bounds or not. But he got just enough to get that first down. Give him a Play in that safety position, just waiting for a receiver to come seconds. his way. Play action outside Barney again. Burroughs at the bottom of the screen. To the 20, fights his way to Here the is sideline. Nick he'll now. He'll bounce. look to Burroughs, but then be sacked at the 30. Ball is loose. That was Kevin Thompson in there. And I'm not sure how they're going to rule on this. ECU says it's theirs. We haven't seen any indication here from the officials quite yet, as they will confer. Got to protect the ball, D. Hansen. Pump yep, fake. turnover. That Both is right huge. Antonio Graham, the intended target, but it's well out of play. And a good rush upfield. And before, because Nick got slung around, so his knee and his bottom didn't touch. And he just got a little careless with the ball. And when he was thrown to the turf, the ball just came out of his hand. And the Wildcats quick to jump on the football. Back-to-back to -back turnovers. Now have BCU in a position to make this very difficult for South Carolina State. With one timeout left and an explosive offense with 116 to go. Midway through their own area of the field around the 30-yard line. You've got to protect the football. I don't care if you lose 20 yards. You need to maintain possession. You've got to. You've got to do it. That makes the task of Evan Lomax take it on the field. Geldell has a motor that just won't stop, though. He has been fighting all This, day I believe, by South Carolina State. He didn't nope. get the blitz, but he uh, BCU, gave it the that's nag. interesting. He he none. 
remaining. Fourth sack of the season for Yeldell. We're talking about the schedules here also. ECU will have a tilt goes. against the Aggies of North Carolina A&T at Daytona Beach, Florida. And that would be a career high for Lomax. Terry Sims has yet to beat the Aggies as the head coach of the Wildcats. Coming off that swack win, they won it against Mississippi Valley State last week, 41-27. You know who their most famous alumni is. You know you're going to get the Jerry ball to start. Take, take the points of shotgun chance, and now handoff and the delay now, if you're, you're Presbyterian what you do is to you play Isaac Washington you, you, you play your normal defense and Washington a little gimpy though gets back up and looks over after no gain South Carolina State's defense has done fairly well the problem is that the special teams have uh, made it pretty tough and the defense of the Wildcats has been playing excellent Talking about eight points on special teams alone. Max is staying on the field Scored. This timeout, so doesn't appear or on defense and also. And nice pressure up the middle and a five-yard loss on the attempt by Washington on that run. Well, you still got to play safe. Hi, Wenger, the red shirt this freshman, number 96, getting into the backfield of the Wildcats. So it looks as though BCU might be resigned to the fact of just letting this clock run, but now a uh, timeout will be taken by SC State with 22 seconds to go. These, uh, cat and mouse. Coach Poe saying, listen. It's cat and dog, literally. Absolutely it is. That brings me to this question. If Bethune Cookman does a direct snap to the running back, Lomax you don't even have to change the play call. The the right. It's just them. Good stop by the Presbyterian Doing what defense. they do. I mean, you're... That happens. I that's think that's half really the teams in college football. Right well, not half, but. Well, he made his task now it seems harder. like it's, been... as you say, yeah. cat and dog yeah. back yeah. and forth. Yeah. The yeah. problem yeah. is the cat gotta has be, a 19 point lead, so they can six, seven, go three, back and forth. Offensive tackle over there. And it also forces SC State's offense, which is not. You know, I think. I think inclined to being able to throw, throw the football deep downfield and score quickly. High snap Williams shows it a play fake and then will go deep down the middle of the field and it will be picked off at the 35 yard line. Going out right side of the field brought down from behind at the 35 yard line after the INT by Dwayne Nichols, the red shirt freshman at a Lakeview, South Carolina. Did a great job there and brought the ball back even better. The Maybe 10 or 15 yards here in the last 10 seconds because the Bulldogs this still have one South timeout. Football. They can at least maybe BSN attempt a field goal, if ESPN not Plus. getting into the end zone and putting on points. Like the return is the key on this one now. South Carolina State, one timeout remaining, has 10 seconds to work with, which not a lot at the 35 of BCU. Back is Nick going deep right side, and it will be caught for a touchdown! SC State down by 13 now, could make it 12, but that is just what the doctor ordered to Montrez Burroughs with the touchdown. 40 yards on that pass MCAA play. Pitching catch Nick to Burroughs, as you mentioned. Of perseverance, and wow, what a turnaround. Eric One play. As he works to honor the game, and every FCS student athlete. Burroughs with the touchdown, converting on the interception. Back-to-back -back -back big plays, one on defense and then offense. The extra point is even good with 33 seconds to go here. Every day. And now the lead has been cut in half. You had the defender falling down, Steve, on that play as well. Well, no one's going to pick it up a little bit. Well, I'm not. I'm just saying it's part of the play. That's right. And the defender thought he was pushed, but. How's no. that going for him? Well, not well. <laughs> a really good pitch and catch. That's Nick's third passing score of the year, and a player down at around the six-yard line. It's the offensive lineman, Gray, 
What's not surprising? How much money Aliyah saved by switching to Burrow's is averaging a whopping nearly 24 yards a catch. And he does. Just increase that. <laughs> Both number ones. Coming up big. Yeah, this is yep. Stephen Core doing well. Point. Flag on the field. That could have been something that happened on that PAT attempt, which was good. Coach Poe, 95 and 34 in MIAC play. Finds his team back in business. And what looked like a game could get really far away from the Bulldogs and the Wildcats. Rolling up interception up in the air. That was, I think, felt a lot more comfortable in this game, and I'm sure they don't right now. No, and again, South Carolina State will receive That's right. the Back second the half Geico kickoff. Halftime report. The Big South would like to thank Geico, a contributing partner to the BSN on ESPN+. Number and that penalty. John Ork. Will not allow the good cook, but more than likely to have any chance of returning this. You kicked this John one Hampton really out of the like stadium. The stadium. Control with that first drive came right down. Hurry up, winning the battle in the trenches on both sides, and then everything changed really on that 50-yard touchdown pass from John Walker to Dante Myers. Opened Bird up to receive. Yes, if did. he has I mean, any opportunity he here, a, uh, he actually will. Bring it out. Up the middle of the 10, the 15 still on his feet, right hand side. Kicker misses, still on his feet, and then bounced out of bounds, and that will do it here for the first half of play, which had almost everything involved in it. Jimmy Robinson with the return. That's okay. Nearly made a score out of it as well. What a first half, and South Carolina State able to get on the board just as time was about to expire and now within shouting distance and we'll Walker, get the ball however, to start out the second half but it, this game had everything involved Tim Cookman with the lead 25-13 on the road here in Miak play stay tuned halftime coming up you're watching Miak football right here on ESPN because my body Make effects may include pancreatitis. Taking trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin increases your blood pressure. Well, 40 yard so touchdown pass has made this a different story here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, home of the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. They got that 40 yard touchdown there from Nick to Burroughs to make it 25 13, the lead for Bethune Cookman and the Wildcats. You're watching MEAC football. You love with Hulu and mobile hotspot. Best deal ever. Save 5% every day. Hashtag Ascot Mondays, baby. Hashtag Ascot Mondays. <laughs> Charles, back here at Orangeburg, Charles South Carolina, where we have a halftime <laughs> score 25 13. Bethune Cookman, the Wildcats, have the edge on the road against the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. And uh, both teams at 1 and 1 in MIAC play and trying to look for that elusive second victory here uh, here this afternoon. About five teams in the MEAC do have that one-on-one -on -one record trying to stay in the hunt with Florida a and leading the way at 3-0. Uh, about six days ago, NFL awarded their Defensive Rookie of the Month to South Carolina State's very own Darius Leonard. Four games so far, uh, his numbers look like this. Four sacks, seven tackles for a loss, 54 total tackles, and 38 of those solo. He was incredible last year for South Carolina State, and the Bulldogs really miss him in that second level. He was a quarterback who changed to become a linebacker, proposed to his now fiance and wife on the field, and he's an unbelievable athlete on the professional level. The Move break. on also to some sombering. Simple, easy, awesome. Back on the Hampton offensive side, Delvin Williams scrambled. Back here in Orangeburg, South Carolina at Bulldog Stadium D. Hans joined by Steve Foss here on ESPN. Bethune be. Cookman with the lead at 25 13. Actually, had gotten out there quite early, and then we've seen everything in this game, including interceptions for touchdowns. Yeah, this first highlight you have number 20, Trevor Merritt going 42 yards on a pick six, cutting back in and getting the score and growing for the Wildcats. A lot of celebration there. Tyrese Nick heads for the pylon, scoots in and gets the Bulldogs on the board there. 
the ensuing point after touchdown. Doesn't go as smoothly as you think. Devin James, number 31 with the block, and Kennedy and Duque, number five, all the way back, and this is two points. Field goal chance that was missed. Wide cats. So it's 17 to seven blue. Turn it around. Been the Geico halftime 12 to six. Second Here we go again. Next. Williams, number 10, Akevius Williams. First of two touchdowns, gets a block by his wide receivers. He's in for the score. And that's from 36 yards. Then he does it again. Up the middle, cuts back. This is from 25 yards, right over the G in Bulldogs. And he gets the Wildcats 25 to six, but then again, right before half, Nick says, I can do this too, to his man, number one, Demontrez Burroughs. And that leaves us with the score of 13 to 25, and the Wildcats in front. They did let him build a cage. 25-13, but it will be South Carolina State to get I mean, the ball to start out that second so half of play. Try to double Don't it up worry. as you're That's watching again in. MEAC football on Wait, ESPN. It's just a stupid old chair. Very lucky stupid old chair. Back here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Thanks for joining us here from Bulldog Stadium. Dean Hanson and Steve Foster with you here. Halftime score, Bethune Cookman has a 25 13 lead on the host, South Carolina State Bulldogs. It's a little Saturday love for you from Alexander O'Neill, and the South Carolina State band continues. Talk more about yourself. Two, two. Trying to find that wide receiver. The next, I say, ran off. That's probably two, two. They never get any problems. Right. Two, two. There's music, there's fashion, and sports. Those are the things that reflect culture and change attitudes. This week, the love affair continues. You don't need a major league swing, a Cy Young line, or a gold glove. Just a desire, the commitment, the commitment to end bullying. To end bullying of any kind, anytime, anywhere. We need more MVPs, more champions like you to join our team, to join our team against an opponent. We do not allow to. We've got this. We've got you. Join, join our team. team. Choose kindness. Shred hate. MLB, ESPN, and X Games are teaming up to shred hate. Learn more at shredhate.org. The Geico Halftime Report rolls on here at Bailey Memorial Stadium in Clinton, South Carolina, where Presbyterian beats Hampton 17-7 at the break. And John taking a look now at the Hampton stats. Delvin Williams, 11 for 19 for 75 yards and a score again. It hasn't been after last week's banner game for him with an over 300 yards passing, over 100 yards on the ground. It hasn't been him doing a lot of the work. We should mention, too, Ronald Bell injured on the first kickoff return. He's missing his biggest weapon outside, so they're turning a lot more of the run game. Right. They're going to have to, but they are not with their number one running back, uh, Shane McKenzie. It's also true. Or even their, or Anderson, their second running back. A lot of different, uh, but that, you know, Robinson is really doing a good job for him. Uh, I mean, if Williams, Williams has got, they're fast. If, if they would stay disciplined without the penalties, I know that the penalties will stop two or three of their drives. I'm going to say three drives for the simple reason. It took them out of field goal range the last penalty they got. So uh, they're going to have to basically, and their penalties are He's going to put pressure on you, but they have got to quit holding because they've got three holding balls at least. And, uh, those are big penalties, and those are drive stoppers, especially when you get them on a third, first or a third down. There's actually a category of how many first downs you get by penalty. You know? and so if the defense gets penalty, that's actually a category. So, They've got, to, they've got to get more self-discipline. He's he's got to get tougher on the offensive line and, and defensive line a little bit. That's so why defensive line, they, they got to tackle better. PC has not been tackled. They're getting a lot of fun. There's that. Why he's still going yards after catch. But he's 
other, they're getting yards after contact. And PC has got to stop that. And they've got to get some drive out of their offensive line. Those are the two things I see that PC's got to do. Their pass, PC's passing game is really good. I mean, Walker, Walker's stats are it's uh, perfect. 13 for 13. I was going to say, he has even missed one yet. But this is a kid who got injured last week on his throwing shoulder. Didn't even play the second yeah. half and a little bit of the second yeah. quarter of that yeah. game last week. And, you know, so, I mean, that shows you what kind of desire he's got to be back on the field. I mean, 13 for 13 for 180 yards. I mean, I'd hate to say, I don't know what the quarterback rating is, but I know it's got to be a great two. Uh, it's actually 267 right 267. Now, so. <laughs> Okay, we're winding things down here once again here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Bands continue on. South Carolina State, they're just gonna they're just gonna play off the field too. They're not done. When that clock runs out, Steve, they, they're gonna keep on playing. Your keys to the second Well, half you can't get on the field if it's occupied. <laughs> that is a true statement. Expected, Unless you're Cal and Stanford. They did it. Then you just, just, they just don't care. They don't care. They're gonna score touchdowns with you in the way or not. And, and it's a real big point here, though, with all seriousness back in the, the frame, is South Carolina State it's more than just back into this game. I mean, they, they seemingly were 25 to six. There's a moment where this game was tipping a little bit more, but then Cookman and then South Carolina State fought back. They got a touchdown, but my goodness, the blocked extra point going back for two, and then immediately after that, a couple plays later, in fact, Bethune Cookman scores their own touchdown. I'm Adam, and I make robots. They miss an extra the point. Pro can handle all of my but still, really seemingly taking grass of this game and an leading at one point with six minutes to go in the first half, device. 25 it's to six. Amazing. And then we had three we really like consecutive turnovers. We're concerned the last one ending up in a 40-yard bomb for a score, yes, at least converting All into right. points for South Carolina State. And now they get the football, and uh, they had that touchdown. How big is that touchdown going into half? Well, it's huge because it cuts you the lead in half. Big swing. And Cy Young on you have the momentum, and the, the coaches are not the talking about maybe some of the miscues as much as they are we're right time, back into this ball game, especially anywhere. if we can get the we ball back in the MVPs, second half to go down the score. Like you. So third quarter coming up. our team against an opponent we do not allow south carolina state to if return you. Join, join our team, team. choose kindness and it will be mlb espn and next baines to up. return Shredding. he has One had a couple of flag flies in one. he had a couple questionable times where he brought it out but Tonight, ended up being good football. We'll see if they're going to tack on a few more yards to this one. A holding call or blocking in the back is usually what you see here. Well, you know, there's an extra official that one with a C on it. And that eighth official now looks at some things that you may not have seen from the back judge for the umpire. Gotcha. Got a third guy out there. So, so that will bring up a block in the back against the Bulldogs. And take it's away just a the return chair. So to a small degree. Ten yards, spot foul to the 20. A very lucky Now it's Tyree Smith's opportunity to continue where he left a off at half. revamped ESPN app. Looking good through the air, but this time he'll go back to Jenkins, who had a you know, lot of work there in the first quarter play. Looked pretty good. Know, I'm just gonna have Not abs. bad, and right there, four yards on they first down. Skins, That's a win for nachos. the offense. So... They don't the have Bulldogs an entree, coming out too, here, so. trying to get back to the That's 30, weird. where the ball was before what it was marked back like? after the block Probably in the back so on the return. ESPN Plus is the entree. Jenkins again and getting into a groove Hashtag near me first Monday, down baby. on the carry. It's good in a long <laughs> one. Charles was here. That's Charles was here. Just <laughs> right into nasty. the line between the guard and the center on the right side these are good holes to fall the, the offensive line here for the bulldogs looking pretty good to start out the third quarter well they're getting the push right now and they'll go right back to the well that got them this close to the first down marker and a good thing they did seven yards on the game by jenkins i like that way that that play with design the pirate lead blocker the motion man comes in and then finds the first defender which pops jenkins as for a first down, and that's a well-designed play. Pirates. Marquise the Hendricks the trying to find Ruben there. Got blocked well. A little bit here today. 
Bombs Couldn't make a play. Keeper by Nick. And it, well, he did. Pass midfield. Down the right side. And down to the 30 goes the quarterback in the form of a Quonset for South Carolina State. The best thing that Special Nick did there was protect the ball Barney as he was going to the ground, D. Hanson, after a huge game. game he's running, he's got 25, 30, 35 yards, and then Ronald protects Bell, the ball going up. down to the ground to maintain possession. Averages 60 yards a game, 35 was his previous long. Play action going right and incomplete, had pressure. And that one intended for Burroughs, the big playmaker so far in this game for South Carolina State through the air. I like the fact that you look receiving last for the, your playmaker on first down. Robinson. Ball just sails yeah, high. But good pressure by the Wildcats the in the face of Nick. Ronald Bell also was the leading receiver coming Nick in. Nick pointing out. Yards, three touchdowns. Edge rusher showing motion on both lines. Play action. Well. No Flat, or no whistle in the pass intended for Burroughs in the right Robinson corner of the end zone. And this is what South Carolina State's done in this game so far when they know that flag's been thrown and more than likely an offsides or neutral, neutral zone infraction against the defense going for the deep ball. Yeah, definitely take advantage of that call. You'll get the five yards, but if you can get a touchdown, you decline the penalty and all as well. Or even if it's picked it's off, you take the penalty. They won't make it three. It's play we don't want to Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Wow, you're right. A motion there on the left side of the line. And Jenkins wise to give the ball back to his quarterback to allow the pass. Hey, I don't want this. What are you doing? Second and five now. Jenkins will get the carry this time and won't find any room up the middle again. Marcel Paul dropped out. Oh, that was another one where if Nick keeps the ball. And I actually checked that the rusher as James. James, but Nick. Doesn't need to be a running quarterback, but sometimes maybe a second thought of getting on the edge may help his team. Two receivers, top of the screen. Long look in, and Detron James will stay in. The redshirt sophomore of North Charleston, South Carolina. Williams with time now steps up. Make sure those hands are ready to go. Nice snap back, throw out left is caught for a first down. Good decision. I like that route. You have one receiver going deep and right up the field, and then you have your second receiver who winds up catching the ball, breaks the pattern to the sideline and there's nothing that the defenders can do Stevens. to get between the two one knee back. receivers running their routes territory. and a good choice by Nick. Caldwell with the re reception. Nick fights through a couple of tacklers. Open the door for a past like the that. 10 to the 9 yard line and near a first down. 7 yards on First down, squeezes through the left side, has a lead blocker and that makes all the difference in the world. Shoot a safety up. We're seeing a resurgence of Nick here after that last touchdown pass. He is a lot harder to bring down already in this third quarter of play. And a handoff goes up the middle. Another running play as South Carolina State is mixing things up to a small degree. Detron James with the carry. I would make the reference of an early 2000 song, The Rebirth of Nick, instead of The Rebirth of Slick. Digital plan four yards on the yeah. carry for Delman Williams. You know the up song. To the PC I did. Line. Now the swing pass is knocked aside. Third and one after the reference. And Jenkins inside the five and has the first down. First down on goal to go from the three yard line. Tough running by Jenkins. You know the song that says I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's called the rebirth of Slick. I call it the rebirth of Nick. Right now it's the rebirth of Jenkins as he's look uh, good in the first quarter and now the third quarter. Here is Jenkins again with the carry, trying to get to the goal. Goal line reaches forward. He'll be short, short by a yard. In. Inside the 20, staying on his feet. Jenkins had an opportunity in the first quarter to get his second rushing down. score of the year. Where they spot it. And he's trying to do that now again as he was unable to do I'll so in that first quarter. Well, this may be a chance for your guy Nick to run for the pylon again. If he makes a good fake into the line and then angles. This would, the best pylon to run to would be towards his left. That's the short side of the field. Behind the six, seven, Jenkins to the right out of the shotgun. Ten yarder. Now Harry takes it to the right. Now back. he'll only get one. As Jenkins will Robinson get in and untouched into the end zone. Touchdown Bulldogs! Back to back scores, 14 unanswered, and the Bulldogs back in business. 
That was the best decision. The quickest way between two points is a straight line, and Nick handing it off to Jenkins. And Jenkins just winning virtually untouched. Antonio Graham off the one yard out. Uh, he'll get roughed up by Yell. Extra point coming up. Snap is down. The kick is up. And now the Pirates have Bredesen kicks it through. As we now have a much closer game to start out, and South Carolina State has Uncle Mo back on their side. Early stages of the third quarter. The Bulldogs within five of Bethune Cookman. Ten minutes to go in the third quarter. You're watching me at football on ESPN. Analyzes stats and sentiment from millions of sources, helping you make more informed decisions. Avoid fantasy football face with Watson, the best AI for the job. So far, it's been 14 unanswered points for SC State and the Bulldogs fighting back into this one, down 25-20 to the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. What a drive here for the Bulldogs. Coming up, we'll see that play out, but we've got a kickoff to get to beforehand, and Wildcats to receive. Lomax comes in there. Deep to receive here back to is Bird, and he will bring it back. And he does just that. Past the 20, 25, and down to, to the 30-yard line. Was actually ball game. 17, bring it back as Nichols. Presbyterian over Hampton back in a moment on ESPN+. Plus. So, Jimmy Robinson, excuse me. Robinson's Introducing E-Trade for Slide Investments. He's got a lot of speed and right. professionally managed in portfolios he customized to help meet your field. financial goals. You'll know what you're invested in and how it's performing. 9.54 left here in the third so quarter of play. And first and 10 for Bethune-Cookman, their first offens offensive set in the third quarter. And it will be, again... Kevius Williams out at quarterback. Good to see you again. Hand it off. And good Our defense dog. here for the Bulldogs so stacking up the, the runner. Excellent. The and that will be for a loss in two, uh, two pock Ismi with the carry. Well, the linebacker Ford yes. comes in the red shirt. Innovation, design, junior, and value. number 35. That settles it. I'll take makes it. a great <laughs> stop in the backfield. Keeps the rusher. From getting any yardage in the rest of the defense just North American over. Of the year. Now that the momentum is shifting over the defense looking Green Bay good on the first play. Ismi with the carry, and again, he can't find any room. They'll be third down and we 12 really like coming up. Goodwin, number 97 in the backfield. And everybody on the line of scrimmage now All right. weighing in for the South Carolina Bulldogs on defense. Flying in. Chad Gilchrist, even though he missed him, the activity I level mean, around the runner me, the disrupts the timing. So these are Paris and the blocking. And Charles hockey pants. They're my pajamas now. Very you said big, Uncle Mo. Roomy, it's good for lounging. He's it's on the sideline. He may be has Orangeburg, home. South Sometimes Carolina, I all over. Out of bed. Maybe eaten. I've been How having to uh, yep. get lunch. a hit point. See, or stinger. Through Cookman now. Holding so on to a five-point lead. Here's Williams. He will ESPN run with it and get stopped for maybe a yard gain on the play. And talk about defense staying at home. That's where that helped out. Rant number 14 did exactly that, D. Did not leave and vacate his position on the edge on the left side. And the quarterback, Williams, comes right to him. You hear the Bulldog faithful in his full throw. That was a nice tackle. And this is the best offense in the MEAC by points per game that South Carolina State has now looked pretty good against. Well, you said Uncle Mo. He's on the side there, wherever Uncle Mo is. Makes a difference. Here is the punt by Francis from his own 15-yard line. And Prunty was low the and over end, and it's fielded at the 35 and all the way up to the 43-yard line is Dubose. And SE State will take the ball to start out their next offensive set down by 5 to Thune Cookman. You're watching MEAC football here on ESPN. Exactly. Off to Zola Davis. It's about a yard. What a last drive here from out. South Carolina State, Steve. And a lot of Jenkins, number 32. You see the handoff from Nick here. And then Nick gets into the action himself. This is a big one for 35 yards. And it gets into Bethune Cookman territory. From there, change it up. We go to the air and we find Caldwell. He gets the ball inside the red zone. 
good tackle there by the Wildcats, but too much Jenkins, and he pulls inside the five, and that sets up this, a one-yard plunge right side, and hold up, back into this game. Jenkins with the score gets SC State within five, 25, 20, and another stab at it here to possibly even take the lead, third quarter, 7.43. Left here in that third quarter in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Handoff goes left-hand side. And you have to really credit South Carolina. Jenkins on the run. Uh, they have stuck with this run, though. They have not deviated from it at all. Even when they were down 25 to 6, they were still running it like this. Well, that set up some play action, and then that allowed right at the half a 40-yard touchdown pass from Nick to Burroughs. And, you know, you could say that the secondary fell asleep. Maybe a yard on the play. Also, Bethune Cook but trying to make a difference with their defense this particular time. And the Bucks Bulldogs will go to the Jenkins bounce. well once again. And it all the way might back inside their scratch own a half yard, yard, line. yard out of it. Blocking the back right there They're at down. the 10-yard line. Well, now you see the line play pick no up flags for the on the field, yes, there is a flag. And the white oh, there is a flag yeah, down on the far side against line. the red maroon type jerseys. And, and so he who, who controls the line of scrimmage deep most of the time dictates now. who's going to win that play. And if it isn't for the athleticism that you see for Nick or Williams, that would absolutely be true. Looks like a timeout or stoppage of play. I don't know. I didn't see a timeout officially taken by anybody. It's like I don't know if somebody's the down on the right sideline or what's going on. In the back, right in front of the official over there. Both sides are going There's to their respective Marcus Woods. sidelines. Well, it's not baseball, so it's not the seventh inning. God bless America. And a long return no. for Eaton Johnson. It has to be something different. Celebration you know, all for naught. It, I'm glad you know this is not a baseball game. It's good to see really. with. Yeah. But there was a stoppage, but nobody signaled timeout. So yeah, if we, it has to be in a slightly odd. Yes, very different. Yep. Did you say it gives SC State a good look no, no, here no, at a third and eight at and dive. Uh, yeah. trying to, bo I mean, if you could get this, it's a whole that's, that's whole different strong. ball game too to a large degree that's for exactly SC State who yeah. has a hard time on third and long. Leaves it all out there on the field. Well, the other thing is too, it's like a free timeout because the Bulldogs year, may need one of those timeouts later on in the game and an official timeout here. We have a player over here that was being helped off the field on the far side side, coming all the way to the near side for South Carolina State. Right there. Okay, third and eight now. Injury timeout. Harry Snick, absolutely. Now they're going to. I look for tight coverage on both the top and the bottom of your screen. Nick going to the air down the right, left side and. Like having to come back on that ball, good defense underneath, and that will be an incomplete pass. pass. It will bring Wrestle up a down. fourth Fisher down. Looking behind, for Thomas, had a back shoulder tight horse got the first down. pass, got but the first good recovery down. at the, the end down anyway. with the secondary. Right there you see Nick. Quick turn and actually hitting it with his own hand. Good defense in the secondary. Oh, very close to a horse collar. Couldn't tell if he just got his jersey or his side. Though. Jamari. Shoulder blades. This one taken down. Here comes the punt from his own 31-yard line for Petaway. Feeling at the 16. And a lot of traffic. He made the tackle from behind. It was Mitchell, who has, for the most part, made a lot of good decisions in this game, but this particular time had a hard time getting any room against this coverage downfield by the special teams of South Carolina State. Here's the interesting thing. From the 17. Bruce Johnson, the starting defensive end, Boom, Harriet lit up on the punt coverage, making the stop. You know he can tackle, but he can also run. This game evening out to a small degree now, where both sides really go settling in defensively really these last couple of times. <laughs> but the interesting thing is now very the score isn't yes, huh? is so lopsided. This is one idea. score no. game, and this, this changes really who wins. After missing Possibly two games, right now Michael Fisher is all 20. over the field, making tackles, laying Timeouts down the lumber. Timeouts that much more important. The closer you long. are, the longer this Williams game again. goes. Now escapes the pocket, going to take it himself. Third Colby Campbell in hot pursuit, and he'll force get, Williams get out of bounds. More than halfway through, like here is Washington with the carry past the 25. Shot. To 26, and this is this is what the Wildcats need too, because I think even though they're a pass-happy offense, they still use the run to set up the pass. 
Well, and that also shortens the game. They're ahead right now by five. What are they thinking about? Well, you never know. Washington. PC's defense looked like they woke up that series. They were asleep the first series. Three-yard guy on the season. This is has a few point, receptions as well. And now happen. he finds a big hole. It's just as soon as I say that, gets a huge gain left year. side, turns those legs past midfield, and down at the 46 in Bulldog territory. Well, Chad Gilchrist had an opportunity for the Bulldogs to make a tackle, but he runs right by the rusher, right at the line of scrimmage. And that freeze, a huge gain of 20, almost 25, seven yards on that, that run play that is a tremendous Williams out of the PC shotgun trips one, up top one penalty all rolls day. to the right and then tuck it in and run and then slide and wisely with six yards, yards on the game protect yourself and you most people have played little league baseball I know this is not baseball but you can see these quarterbacks are wise enough that looks like a second base slide Williams has the only two offensive scores other than the field goal by Hernandez for Bethune-Cookman. Now he's hounded again. He'll run to his left-hand side and still get some yardage out of it. Actually, I was going to say, he's made very good decisions. That was another good decision. Don't take the punishment. And it was a third base slide, not a second. That previous play. I think people knew what you meant. Yeah, you know, Second base is here. different than third base. It is. Well, I think other people are it too. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you some. People have leeway. They're they're passionate. Yes, they're compassionate out there, Steve. Okay. 25 20 is your score, and Bethune Cookman trying to answer yeah, back. And two on it, two touchdowns Robinson scored by Williams South Carolina State time. back to back. And throws it. it's incomplete. And that last series tough for Bethune Cookman. As soon as they got into Bulldog territory, that defense for SE State really stiffened up and forces a fourth down. Yes, they did. And a wise move for Williams to throw the ball away. But again, Uncle Mo still on the sidelines of the Bulldogs. And once they possess this punt, they will have the opportunity to take the lead. Again, this will be the second time to, for that to happen. Which is new if you're a Bulldogs fan because the first half was definitely not that way. Francis to punt it away. He's had a nice game. Right now Came in one of the stronger the punters series. in the MIAC. He gets this one off, off, and it's a boomer. And he'll hit into the end zone. It'll be third down and seven from the 40. So now Bethune Cookman's defense have back out on side. the field, leading by 5 25 20. We'll see what the Bulldogs can do with it with 4 25 left in the third quarter Byron play. Barney, You're watching MIAC football on ESPN. And no one even came close to him, to your well, point. Davis muffs the punt, Steve Keys and it's to the picked game. up you by Hampton. Turnovers being oh, that, we've broken man. even so far. Big rush throughout the game. Is yeah, starting off with Trevor Merritt, number 20, for the Wildcats, with a pick six from 42 yards out. Makes it 10 nothing. but then their favors return. And Kelly, number seven, for the Bulldogs, and then a fumble recovered by Nick. And then back to Williams, and Williams, Gives up another INT, and that's to Nichols, number 10, who makes a great return to set up an opportunity at the, the end of the half. Well, like a 40-yard touchdown after, after that INT. Coach Poe has to be happy with the turn of events, how his team has responded after being down 25-6 to six in the football now, down by five to the Bethune-Cookman. SC State now will look to their sophomore quarterback to run the football this particular time. I don't think that was by design. Good coverage downfield there by the Wildcats of BCU, and they'll bring up a second and long for the Wildcats, excuse me, for the Bulldogs. Well, his, uh, Nick almost, if he could have popped through, out there after he makes a tackle. certainly could have had a bigger he game. Really good. But there, three-yard loss, Steve. Second and 13 coming up. Out there. You're get on Is this the state? That. Now has from three and a half to go. Here's the play action. Tyrese Nick able to find some space in the middle of that defense and complete the pass. Almost didn't. I mean, that was a low, low pass. And just by the fingertips, Austin Ruger able to hold on to it at the tight end. I tell you, I like that than having a quarterback overthrow a guy. Still hurrying it up. That's. Huge yardage. Onto the outside. You had from the 13 to the Another missed tackle. 
And Back in business now, and Nick looking to throw, Pirates. tuck it in and run. And you've seen Slung now down around the 45, plays, and John, or in fact two on one play. Wildcat territory. J.C. Yeldell and Colby Campbell gimpy. combining for three missed tackles. How often do we say that? You don't and you see a good decision on the edge by the quarterback, Nick. Tyrese Nick gets flung forward. And uh, Yeldell's a senior with all the experience in the world. Then Cookman trying to... Find a remedy for this ground game, as it had been. Now also some Carrington missed that last passes that really have confused the defense. But nonetheless, for the Wildcats, you can add to that combination. Flag on the play, and it'll be against SC State. Hampton with all the momentum, cued by PC mistakes. Many times these flags seemingly were difficult for SC State to get over the hump of, but I don't feel like that's the case right now. No, I think offense is moving. Well, Como having a, having a couple of beverages on the uh, Bulldog side. He's still and there. Really had a lot of those here in the third quarter. Jenkins back in the fray. And Play action Robinson to him. Again. It does Sanford well blocking here. Plenty well. of time. Nick yard. goes deep down the middle, and it down. will be incomplete. The crowd. I think there was screaming for some pass interference. Well, we will not see any flags come out. Yeah. <laughs> You see on the replay here, good choice. The ball's Moreland put where only the Baxley can get to it. Exactly, and I understand if you can get away with it, do it. But there was definitely some hand holding if nothing else. Second in 15, and you can also feel rover. More confidence the in this block. offense as they will are we'll taking strikes down the field. Delay the draw. Third. Keeper Back by Nick, and he will be brought down from behind, not until he gets to the 44, in a much more manageable third down situation. I agree, and a good change of pace there by the Bulldogs. I liked him taking the shot on first down. Player down for Bethune Cookman. Number 55. Todd Nee Evans. Defensive lineman, 6'3", 240. And two players down. And that's yeah. Nick. Yep. Cramp. And they can pull, pull on that toe like that. Pull, push, pull, push. Must go lighting. We make it happen. Inching up courts, 80 degrees in Orangeburg. Got to hydrate. And rehydrate. That's true. That's true. Bananas. Or those are good too. Water. It was always nice. Yes, with the water. And you can see there almost. How much money Aaliyah saved by switching to Geico? Both of the two players in the same spot. Yeah, just kind of. It looks like actually Nick is looking at his knee too, right below his cap on the right leg. Not enough for a first down at the 44 of Bethune Cookman. I don't see number three yet. Oh, yes. No. No. I am correct. It's number two. Corey Fields, the freshman of Hollywood, South Carolina. And Baptist Hill High School, the six foot 188, is in at quarterback. And he immediately guns it, and it will be nearly intercepted. A third and ten had to go for it. And that will be. Juan Caldwell, the intended receiver. And you have to <laughs> admire Swigert, the offensive coordinator, just going straight to his freshman and guns ablazing. Yeah, and the choice was well uh, thought of, but the ball was to the inside, and that was closer to the defender as opposed to Caldwell, the receiver. Right right away to kick it off, and the always dangerous Paul with no chance. Avon Mitchell Rod deep to receive. In on the close coverage. And you saw it coming right out of break. That away, Wobb is this one high, and Mitchell will receive Derek it at his own 11-yard line, reverses field. Finds a little bit of room, and now has a few blockers as he gets to the near side, the and will be out of bounds just past the 30-yard line. A lot of running there for a little space. That was a great job because South Carolina State had that punt covered pretty well. No question about but a that. nice move and a so dip Hampton inside. Tie things up with a field goal. Evan a good return yardage. Is for one and they missed for the the defense in. And his new career high. This one yeah. is Came back on the other side. From the left hash. Because you have Mitchell starting at his own 11. Gets up through. to about the 
27 so yard line now for 16 six, yard return. seven rather on the season and we are Roger all tied Carrier, up 390 to go to give this is big south right. football lumbering away shotgun for williams now to cookman up by because five and his, the defense have kept him in it I they have not been able to score here in the third quarter with my body to release its own insulin and like a half about to. to go. Trulicity's not insulin. There is or a speedy Robinson with the carry. Pen, Robinson, I mean, he didn't have a belt. Trulicity he just got kind of like the spandex in it. Well, he was down. The belt keeps him dead. I mean, that's more weight. Don't use yeah, it as the, the first medicine to treat diabetes. Pants were down by the path. What happens? Shotgun, here's Mitchell. Looking deep, has plenty of time. Caught at midfield. And all the way down to the 45-yard line. And the completion to Jonathan Thomas. Thomas coming all the way from right to left. And the Williams is a lot of time and a good route. Really gun that one in there. That too. Robinson comes out. Washington in. Not a running back. He's to the right in the shotgun of to help lower my A1C, I choose Williams to, and to activate my within. That goes Ask nowhere. A big defensive play and a loss. Washington didn't have I'm any Ann room Mike. to roam. To see you again. We'll bring up a see second and long. Loves her new body. And so that was a I'm great defensive stop by Wilson. Wilson. Standard with a turbocharged engine and a full suite of Honda sensing Ran right, right back into him. Nobody touched him. 2018 North America. That's not fair. Not, yes. not a lot of blocking going on. It's not fair. Innovation, design, and value. Washington. That settles it. I'll take it. Trying to get the play in. You can see him running now and slightly confused. Come in to test drive the Honda Trips left hand side. 2018 North American car Game vehicle. clock is There's getting music. near 10. This, fashion this could be the last play of the Those third the quarter. We'll see. Culture Wildcats. And change attitudes. Williams lobbing it deep right sideline, and it will be well overthrown. And that probably helped out a lot. I think there was a better beat on it by the defender on that particular play. Now we'll bring up a second and 16. Durant on the coverage kind of baited Williams to throw the ball and had he thrown it properly I think the ramp may have had an interception in tie. The but the overthrow the was even not closer to Durant than the receiver three, three, three seconds to go. to go I was wrong there on both accounts it's third down and three seconds to go it's all right. 25 yard field goal trips left Williams again as Washington hoping Davis would get a to his right See what he can do on and a he'll stay in the block nicely punt. in trouble. Williams will run That's right hand side, try to get enough, but will be well shy oh, of the first lucky. down. Yeah. Defense for South Carolina State stiffening up again. Both defenses looking really good in a mundane third quarter, only one score. And South Carolina State should get this ball back down by five as we go to the fourth quarter here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. You're watching MEAC football right here on ESPN. Walker on his back foot looking for Davis, a bit underthrown, and Robert Scott the fourth got his right hand to it. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans, America's largest mortgage lender. It's fourth and long for Bethune Cookman. They're up by 5, 25 20 here on the road in MEAC action. D. Hanson, Steve Foster alongside here on ESPN. Wildcats setting up for a punt. Getting this one off. Fair catch signaled. Hits at the two and stays inside the five. Gut check time, I should BCU say, for getting an advantageous now. punt here from one of the better ones in the business, at least in the conference, from Giovanni here. Francis. And now it will be a right. tough road to hoe here for a South Carolina State offense that has looked pretty good uh, ever since about 25 to 6 midway through the second quarter they've been able to get back into this ball game but also a little bit of love over to the Wildcats and their defense they've also been able to they've been giving up yardage you've seen that in the runs here from SC State Steve but uh, they have not broken no they haven't and you know now it's kind of a 
stalemate, but South Carolina State definitely in striking distance now. Back in the, again, in the beginning stages of the fourth quarter just underway as we flip sides. South Carolina State will go back to their quarterback to run the football, and Tyrese Nick, who, nice to see, he looks fine out there again. He's taking a little bit of a few hits here and there on runs and or being stopped, and only one score in the third quarter after all the things that we had going on in the first half. That from a one-yard touchdown run from Jenkins to get South Carolina State within five and now an option keeper up the middle. Here's Terry Stick. Nice spin move at the 20. And he'll get near to the 25 for a big gain and a first down. Yeah, and a good move there. And again, the protection of the football at the end of the run is important because Nick has fumbled and lost the ball once uh, today, but now you see him protecting even as he's running through tacklers. So, you know, he was itching to get another chance. Some spins there against uh, Kennedy and Duque with the big return on the blocked extra point. Barely even touched Nick on the spin. Spin move helps. I liked that move. Jenkins now will get the carry. Play fake. Williams over the middle. It is picked off. Steam has been the feature back here today. Working his way to the near side. Game. And what a turnaround. Rod Haygood has been He's involved well. in coverage a lot today. And now he gets a, little a change huge of pace, turnover as you mentioned. in favor of the Presbyterian Blue Hose. From number 18. Awesome play by James. Haygood there. He just read the quarterback's But he's been used sparingly, D. Yeah, James came in as a second leading rusher on the team by about 30 plus carries. Here is a pass in the middle of the field and just missed on the throw. That one intended for Quan Caldwell. Caldwell's open. It's a good route. The ball is low and behind him. And that was an athletic play, too. Kind of. That's where a quarterback from back to front and caught it has to be able to shake things off. There is able to even just a little, little high five. Davis. Caldwell. He dapped up Caldwell, said, My bad. DC ran Davis in front of him as a fake Third and seven and coming up here as both offenses have struggled Davis and it didn't here work. in the second half. And Nick will try to change that. Overthrows his intended receiver again, Caldwell, play might be and nearly picked off. Just to maybe it's unfortunate it because Caldwell has been open. He's run good routes, and he's coming into the middle of the field where he can make adjustments, but either the ball was one low on the first attempt and then too high on the second. Dukeway in on that play, along with the Trevor Merrill. Merritt, two of the bigger names that we've seen being able to make big plays in this game. Merritt with the interception the return for a Davis touchdown, and Nukeway with the return on the, at the block he got a five yard of the extra point for two points. Now it's third and six. Here's Petaway from his own 13. And with that catch, as nice as punt. Conspicuous as it might be there. All the way back to his own 22 is Dubose, who will return it. Become the all -time and is able to Division one record holder weave his in way, Texas still on his feet somehow. He's finally brought down at the 37 yard line. After a really nice punt in the air. And now it will be Bethune Cookman back out, who they haven't scored since the first half of play. They're going to try to make that difference here. You're watching me act. And again, about a half yard further. I'm reminding you, Laura loves you, and you're doing a great job. Half to Davis across the middle of the last series. Tell you, they've been Back in business here in the MEAC, where Bethune Cookman opened up a big 25 6 lead with about six minutes to go in the second quarter. And since then, obviously, you can tell it's been all SC State getting back within 5 12 45 left in the fourth quarter of play. Deans and joined by C. Foster. As uh, at Bulldog Stadium, you can see also that the sun is going down a little bit, about 80 degrees, no wind to speak of. Bethune Cookman hasn't scored since 6.06 left in the second quarter of play. And that's saying a lot since they're one of the best offenses in the MEAC, averaging nearly 36 points, or actually over 36 points per game. And now they'll be back out on the field with their redshirt junior, 6'2", 188-pound quarterback. And just as soon as they try to get a playoff, there's a flag on the field. Looks his way to the 34 gain of 13. Procedural here against Bethune Cookman. Oh, I'm trying to figure Here out they go. Hurry up. if it's the tap or somebody else moving, or they just decided to sometimes call the tap procedure or not. Because you see, 57, 
Here is a throw left-hand side. It is caught and going today. upfield near the 40. Tough tackle at the end of that play. Got a and slow to, to get up is Malik Jackson. Well, a good fake into the line by Williams. Holds the linebackers, allows the receiver to get upfield, as you mentioned, Jackson, but a tomahawking tackle has him holding his leg. Jackson leads the team in yardage going into this game at 295 on the season. Adding to that, first and 10 into Bulldog territory. Williams trying to get this offense back in gear, fakes the ESPN handoff Plus and keeps it wisely and gets a first down run of 11 yards. Two good decisions and nice ball fakes by Kevious Williams, number 10, the quarterback for the Wildcats. Zone read. Off. Under his own power for the second time. Good to see that. Second down. It's one thing to disrupt it, another thing to stop it. Will Robinson. Roderick Perry did a good job of disrupting it. Yes, but Williams went out the side door. Picked up a first down. Combination of Jaisi Yeldell. 12 to go now on the 31 of SC State is BCU. This time they do hand it off to Washington. Flag flies. Could see a face mask on this one possibly. And add some more yardage to already a nice nine-yard game. fingers go in the air for both the Pirates and the Blue Hose as the third quarter comes to an end. I'm not going to argue with you on that one, D. With a deadlocked game here on this beautiful fall Saturday afternoon in South I think Carolina. I going to be the call. That's going to be a Hampton 15 and Presbyterian. The exciting conclusion of this one comes this your way foul. next. Face mask. You are watching Big so, South football on the BSN. On ES. Cookman. The Home Depot has on trend offense is pretty With dynamic, as you can see there. Pet proof. Make it waterproof. The back end of the make play. It beautiful. Get free installation on any carpet, 699 bucks or more. The Home Depot. And so now it will be first and ten. Introducing E-Trade personalized investments. Shotgun portfolios and a whole a handoff to Washington goals. and he lowers his right shoulder gets inside the five to three tough run there so you can and spend Washington more time pin, about pinballing it. his way to the three D good tough run up the middle he's definitely more of the bruiser on this team intelligence helps us meet the needs of tomorrow today. By 2050, we need to produce 60% more. Shotgun food. again. So Williams we hands it off in a sweep left and using Microsoft good penetration AI, all throughout the gaps there. Nichols, number 10, the Richard freshman. Now we can reduce waste and produce more food. Saw that. Artificial intelligence. And read it beautifully. Went low. Stopped for no gain. <clears throat> I'm going to lunch. You want some lunch? Four yards for a first. And get to the one. There's music, there's the conversion, and sports. Those are the things that reflect culture and change attitudes. This week, now here the is the handoff. Washington nearly blown up in the backfield, but then again stretches out that defense, and the Bulldogs do a good job of being, making sure he doesn't get anywhere upfield. You're absolutely right. If I have my DVDs and, and I figure out that I can get every single 30 horizontal 30 run on by a running back is not I have ESPN favorable. Museum spells a I'm lose a for the offense, win for the, the defense, house. and now the field goal unit for the Wildcats space for some trot out. Yeah, and then this is big anymore. because Other people, now you can keep still it and still a one score game. That's right. Eight points is achievable. I understand that. Right now we're looking at a 21 yarder D, or I should say 26 yarder. It's just a stupid old 21. Uriel Hernandez with the field goal attempt is up and good. So with 9-16 left here in the fourth quarter, Bethune Cookman gets up by eight, but SC State still well in this one with 9-19 left here at home. And a big MEAC matchup. You're watching Robert your price Baker. guarantee, all for just $79.99 per month with a two-year agreement. Job, and if you order job. online, you'll get a $100 Visa prepaid card. Get but hurry, offer ends October 31st. Go to getfiles.com. Gonna have to, they're gonna have to do something and eat some clock and 
get out here and get some kind Bethune of Bethune Cookman play. extends their lead 28 to 20 with that uh, 21 yard field goal by Hernandez. Good job there, SC State. Even though they did commit a 15 yard face mask personal foul, that really obviously kept this drive uh, going in a completely different direction than the Bulldogs wanted. But Wildcats able to still get some points on the board and have assured themselves uh, uh, that eight point lead, which obviously SC State can and cost a touchdown and two point conversion. 919 left in all three timeouts. So plenty of time in this matchup between two teams that had all kinds of things going on, Steve, in the first half of play. And now we've mustered a one yard touchdown run in the third quarter and a short field goal in the fourth quarter. Yeah, things settled down, not much scoring. PC was good on As you mentioned, first, though, first, the field goal broke the ice half, here. Better on defense but still a one-score game. You'd have to go for two. And we also recall it's a one-point differential because there was a two-point uh, score by the Wildcats off a blocked point after touchdown, and then they missed their extra point. So it actually it kind of evens out. First and 10 from their own 25. Ivan Oraha back Jenkins with the carry, right hand side. Sean Maybe Davis gains around four redemption. near the 30 He's yard deep. line. And he has definitely been They'll the bell cow the for this offense on the handoff. Some blockers. The, Here goes Davis. Tyree Snick also around the 35. Hop the skipping a jump to the 40. Throughout the course of this game. He is forced out Cookman, of bounds. Uh, they've been able to show, yes, they still can get the turnovers. And here's Jenkins again. No, nope, excuse me. It is Nick who decides to keep it. He'll gain a yard to the 30. So five yards needed for first with the third down coming up for SC State. This is a team also in the Wildcats who are tied for second in the conference with 12 sacks, along with North Carolina A&T. And I think that, for the most part, the Bulldogs have done a pretty good job with that offensive line. I absolutely agree. And, you know, and off the Davis running game it to has to he keep that it. defense He's gonna take it this honest. Time. So they just can't come with Swarmed the upfield by rush. Pirates that eventually stays in there. Out. And it's a pass, of course, throw left-hand side. Probably Beautiful that, throw. That whole play. Out to the 40 and up to the 42-yard line. Quan Caldwell with the reception in the shade. So Nick completes the toughest of the three passes he's attempted in the last uh, time, times here in the second half. All to Caldwell. All to Caldwell and moves the chains. First and 10 now and flags fly. I don't understand why people are pointing. You know, you can't move like that once you're set. When your hand's down on, throw and catch on the field down, turf or the grass, you can't field. lift it up if the ball has it been snapped it. or you're going to guarantee yourself Davis that penalty. I mean, that you say people are pointed. You mean the offensive line? The offensive line, line yes. Carolina State. Yes, I. Because they off. both always point. Like, Yo, you did it. No, you did it. Yes, it prior to the snap. snap I, think that was I don't like to call out my offensive line. They've taken care of me for a long time. No doubt. First and 15 now after the penalty is assessed. In college football, you Option catch keeper it. by Nick, and he bolts up right back to the original line of scrimmage to make it second it and 10. Hit you flat in the middle of the hand. Jenkins a little bit only totaled 13 yards in the put off half. at the top of the pitch relationship with Nick. Thought maybe if he got the pitch that the Davis, blocking on the far side. Off was good enough for him to pick up more yards. He wanted a flag as he got and turned around, but it's Robert it. Scott the fourth. And bolts his way up hard past as he 45, went to the grass, possibly it off. to the 46. And now he's shaking so up. Much more manageable see third down. So maybe you see about third and six, third and seven. Yeah, quickly to the line here. Bulldogs trying to catch the Wildcats in a Nobody touched him. He fell to the ground by himself. Substitution change. In the sport of football. And up top, our man, number one, Burroughs, is not. Caldwell, our man on the bottom. Yeah, so at least two prime choices for Nick. Yeah, I, I think that's what he happened. Not good he no, he does a play action, then keeps it, sprints up the middle, pass midfield, yes, and gets I the first the down. And just came back and realized what kind of a shock set. See, see none of the above. We'll step aside Keep as the ball and taking a look rush at for Hampton eight, football. maybe nine yards and move the chains that way. But a great decision a to use his legs. As Nick heads out the side door there on the right side. Make it waterproof. And then gets up field. Just enough of a timing there, too, where Nick did not stay too long on his receiver 
down and decided to bring it upfield himself. His internal clock did the right thing. Yep. Here's Jenkins trying to find the edge That's to the nice. right, and he will to a small Your degree past rack. the 45. This Looked like a couple Buick. spots there. How are we going to fit your mom's Buick? But uh, a gain of three, maybe four. To the 43. I like that new Buick. Yeah, me too. That's a win on first down for the offense. I, oh. 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 I knew that. Under six to go. Because if you get four on first down and you go surprises. three yards in a cloud of dust the twice, details. guess what? Uh, Move the the I'm not good at math, but I did know. The small job that's now I did know that one. Job. Opposite eye and left as the shift love. happens here with Jenkins. Jenkins. Eye, right? Now he can pitch it out to Jenkins, and he can't hold on to the football. He finally does get on top of it. Back in his own territory at the 49, a big loss on the play. They always remember everyone. Well, Jenkins, I don't know if it was going from sun to shade. And that does affect. We're looking upfield, maybe you expect a hit. You know? But that one was kind of low. And I think Jenkins took his eyes off trying to look where he was going to cut once he received the pitch from Nick coming near side. Third and 14 and movement. You're going to have a big deep bomb here from Nick. Goes left side and it will be caught. takes name a bit too literally. No. Let's see. Oh, I think this is a catch. Absolutely. Right. They say it's a catch at the 20 yard line. Niners, Packers, tonight. Thomas, the red shirt freshman, with the reception. Uh, that's a 40 yard play. It is a 40 yard play. I mean, everybody, look at it. Both feet get in. A look at Robert Scott, the fourth, who one foot down in the toe tap. Of the year. I mean, Got that's a hard pass, too. Fall to the ground. Number five to go. Starts. Will to Robinson what a huge play. One. That first was in a third and long. First down and more. Here's Will Nick Robinson now. He'll still be on his shoved, feet. get shoved out of All bounds. Down to the press. I think he gets three, maybe four, out of play that could have been for negative yards. For Robinson as he comes near side. Crosses the 130-yard threshold today. This is a great drive for South Carolina State, but it's taken a lot of time off the clock. Hanging, wrapping Three up. Three timeouts. Right there. You can't, started at their you can't own 25 D. About yeah. nine minutes to go in the game when it started as well. On the keeper. Movement again Slides from the Wildcats. Ball is bobbled and, his and flags fall. Much more of a factor in this second half as he's now. This up to still needs to be yards. a neutral zone infraction. If I, I, I believe this could be second and one, but you gotta wait. See if. See if the uh, defender was drawn off. I'll catch her. Really trying to time these snap counts PC, just about from Nick and having a hard time doing so in this second drive. half. They are. It, Not how you get it done. Offsides. Uh, complimentary five. Nagy will pull up the tackle in the back. Second and one really you changes your play calling abilities. You could just go ground and pound and pick up three feet. You could roll out Nick. There's a lot of things that can happen in the red zone. Second and one from the Wildcat 11. Third short up coming from the 30. Blue Actually Hose far out right hand side. It will be a pitch to the Williams. right. And there's nobody Edge to the 10 to the, the 5 and inside to the, the blitz. yard line. Quick pass complete Gerald first down Minical. to the 25. Yeah, and a good Got decision five, there by Nick. Three, and it's complete to Marcel Paul. The upfield rush gonna, forces a pitch. You're be in blitz, but as you mentioned, Marigold, like number 37. Man it's a good run rest. inside the five. Williams Down taking a shot to, to the end zone. Open. Incomplete dropped it. There's Coming a flag out. on the near side of the end zone. We'll check that foul. Like he was about to go back in. Jenkins by the is your back, back now. He, he gets the pitch to the five, five and lowers the shoulder. Maybe gets a yard or two on it. Had two hands Still on the shy. The clock runs at 320. Well, I think that's about it. This is the drive. This is first and goal. And I think that ball is inside the two. Oh, my goodness. No wonder they stopped it. Watch, watch that leg. Yeah, he definitely men is. on the field. Right. Yeah. Another unforced error. It will be a keeper yeah. by Nick, and he will not get in. Good recovery by six. Maybe to the yeah, one. Michael Fisher again. Well, the, the thing is you put football. your quarterback in shotgun position. Fresh First set of downs five. for the Pirates. Probably you think inside the right I can zone read now. and Hand figure out where the – Wiggle room is, but right there, a great job by the Wildcats. Just to 
create a wall. Hampton has now rushed for 240 Nick yards today. And the goal line. And the goal is and your NBC back is in this set allowing 257. Nick so is under is, center, and he'll keep it and try to jump over the cross the goal line. The ball comes loose. And they're going to say Second touchdown. Touchdown like Burks into the end the zone. The and that's actually Corey Fields who Williams came in fake. Now gives and tried right to, to leap Eason. over. Well, he had faked the first time. All you got to do is break the plane with possession of the ball. After that, it can go anywhere. Now the decision again to go for two here. Makes it to the 11. PC's defense can get a turnover That's here Nick. or hold them down to a field goal attempt right here. Nick with the touchdown. To Hopefully. So Free now timeout taken on the field. Right. SC State going for two. They take the timeout. 2.32 left in the game down by two. You're watching MEAC football right here on ESPN. One cup of lemonade. They've called that on the quarterbacks in the past. It's time to pack up, kids. NFL Sunday Ticket. Get every live game every Sunday at no extra charge when you switch to Direct TV. More for your thing. That's our thing. A little bit late. Everything sold on Amazon comes from small and medium businesses just like mine. Make someone happy. Make someone smile. You get that little that little slide in there. There it is right there, Cody. South Carolina State with a timeout and a lot to think on as they go more than likely for two here, Steve. Down 28-26 after a one-yard touchdown run by Nick. Leaped in there, crossing the plane. 2.32 left of the game. They have two timeouts remaining. This is going to be interesting. Manigault stays in there, and he'll shift to the right. With two receivers to the right. For Hampton Tyree as well. 10.48 to go. And he will Pirates pass it the Blue Hose, and get hit. And the ball eight. is, at least if nothing else, incomplete. And so the two-point conversion is a failure. And you can see what they're trying to do there. But the defense did such a good job of getting through the, the, for the Wildcats. Well, the defense got the quick jump on that two-point play. and disrupted the timing. As you see... There's somebody that could possibly be open, okay. but off the edge. Antarius Peters coming you through. You it? Yep. The junior. That's my move. So that will make yeah. So now, you know, SC State with two timeouts. The defense has and done, in the last favorite. series especially, did a good job against the run. Easy. So you have to imagine Bethune-Cookman cannot just sit back and run the football and run out the clock. They've got to take some chances. We've got to at least get a couple first down. And a lot of predicated on how well this kickoff comes off and full of surprises. where the starting field position will be for the Wildcats. It's been a pretty darn good and entertaining football game. Introducing each we had all kinds of things going on here. We've had four turnovers portfolios all the first half. Meet your financial goals. We've had an interception return for a touchdown and an extra point performing. blocked in return for two. So you can spend more and time if that extra point isn't blocked, the the difference. you could just tie the game up. You could have tied the game up with an extra point. Notable the San Francisco occurrence in this ball game. Green Bay to take and, uh, to Aaron kick it off. And the Packers tonight at 15 on Excuse ESPN. Me. There's music, that is, there's uh, fashion, and sports. And then, and then it's the slight fumble, culture, not fumble, but muff on the kick. Attitudes. Still brought up this past the 26-yard line. So still relatively good starting field position here for the Wildcats. We'll see how they respond. Well, it disrupted a, the return enough that you didn't get to the 30, and I think that's a win for the Bulldogs as they need to stop, and then a field goal would win it. But they definitely need to stop first. Bredesen did a good job of kicking that just long enough, but not letting a real good return happen. 
Vince, and he's Jeter. not really shown the leg too much in this game to be able to kick it out the back into the, the end zone. They were 13 for 13 in the first Obviously, you'd option for that. So here's Williams out of the shotgun. Back into the end zone first and, and 10. We'll think about it, but then and he'll hand it off to Washington, I believe. And no gain on the play. Timeout immediately taken by the Bulldogs. They want all the time they can get. There we go. The clock stops. Well, I tell you what. At 216. Well, they'll bring it back up there as well they should. Second. And about 11 to go here for Bethune Cookman. You have to imagine and a play action coming up. Kickers, I must say, I, well, I don't know. I just I mean, can't imagine why a kicker would go into uh, right. some sort of... Or you just run it again to make them use a the timeout and then throw. Right. I would think. Because Williams has done pretty well with his legs. And if you can move him around a little bit, give him a choice. That doesn't mean that a design run cannot look like a pass. You can send your guys out in, in routes, and then Williams, like and then Williams knows, hey, time to go. Unless something's, what do you think? Even if it's wide open, you still don't do it. Well, if you can get a first down, I'd throw the ball, because then that resets the downs. But right now, if you can stay in bounds and run, take off 40 seconds. Let's see Williams again out of the shotgun. Kevious will hand it off. Here is the run that gets to the 34 not and enough for a first down and that will Jeter. and Desmond Sturdivant another the timeout taken with Darian Wilson his finger I don't with think the run. So. do you see all the I think the ball's at the 33 they gave him so that's third and five now that's manageable but it's risky because if you put the ball up in the air D Hansen and it goes harmlessly to the turf you have an easy two minutes to get in field goal position and score. It's the play of the game. I mean, it's not a question. So what do you do? I run and then kick. Try to take the time off the first clock. down. I mean, you, right. But you got to, because you have three timeouts if you're between cooking. So they can move the ball. If they get a first down, use the timeouts, and still. Well, you don't need to use the timeouts. No, you don't want to stop it. Right. <laughs> Okay, here's shotgun for Williams. Only if South Carolina scores. Now it will be a keeper by Williams, and he'll get the first down and more, and wisely stays in bounds at the 45. And he's the most dangerous man, and that's a great decision by the quarterback. Player to watch coming in. We had known that this is a team that sometimes uses a multiple quarterback system. Right. That's hardly been the case here today. It's been all Kevius Williams, but maybe and as well it should be, he's had a marvelous game. Get the troops back That's a line. great job. I mean, you mentioned his earlier, brain John, been a was the best use of the body the and, and his sight like because has. the running back the was going to get blown up and stopped for no gain. The two runs. The kind of by the running back as opposed to Williams really set that up well too. Here's another keeper by Williams and he just needs to stay in bounds and run out this clock and Bethune Cookman is inching closer towards having their first win here in Orangeburg, South Carolina since 2012. They've lost the last two here at Bulldog Stadium. Well, good job by Williams here in this it's last complete to possession. Buchanan for the first and he got the first down, first down made the Bulldogs use their timeouts. Yard line, gain of 11. Now under a minute. That's a big play for PC right there. The Wildcats looking to go to four and three on the season. And Neil on this one. Goes down. Winners of their last three. Only one other team has a three-game winning streak going right now. That's Florida A&M. They lead the conference at 3-0. The Rattlers. Rattlers, Rattlers that's right. Next week, so and Bethune-Cookman will go to 2-1 and one in conference play. A tough win on the road to an upstart South Carolina squad that... South Carolina State squad that had won on the road against Morgan State looking to keep that going here at home before homecoming next week against Delaware State. That will not be the case, and South Carolina State will fall to one and two, and one to five on the season. Big win. Good game. You're right. The visitors, and I'm sure they'll dedicate this to. We mentioned earlier is 
the loss of one of them. Yep. You, and you mentioned FCS playing with emotion. Today, the last Based on that also, Stephen, I think we saw that. From the yeah. And that could be the difference because uh, scorers came from the Wildcats today in some uh, unconventional ways, and they were, they were enthused. Terry Sims with a big win here also. Pirates out on the attack up against the backfield. Well, they, the These the Bulldogs right of South Carolina back. State is now three and one against Jeter SC State. No That's not easy to do I mean, and that, that a hard fought game, especially here in the second the half play. of play. Been a tough, far, hard fought game here, Steve. And moving forward, it will be Bethune Cookman who gets the victory here 28 to 26 on the road. I guess a tough South Carolina State Bulldog Walker. squad that did not go away. So for our podcast partner and Steve Foster, I am D. Hanson saying so long from Bulldog Stadium here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Final score is getting 28-26. Bethune Cookman with the victory here against South Carolina State. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Third and nine now from the 47. Cover two, defense. Pearson in motion. Walker looking right, now in trouble. Escapes Cover the pocket three. with a ton of daylight in front of him on the left side. First down PC, but a flag comes on the near sideline. Back in the backfield area. It could be pass interference or defensive holding because this was all receivers over here. If that's against PC, they've shot themselves in the foot again. But it looked, I mean, that, that area. And the flag I, picked I do up. like the way the officials the, the last year or two have really gotten together and discussed these fouls. Because he immediately ran to another official. He said, I threw the flag because of this. He said, what do you think? He said, this is what he said. No, that's really, you know. So worked out for PC that time. I've been saying for a long time in my life, doesn't matter how long it takes, just get it right. Yeah, get it right. That's all the fans want and the players. A couple of first downs now on this drive for the Blue Hose. John Walker flings it. And Looks it like is. Caught out of bounds. No, no catch. Just a bit out. Well, the, the other thing that I've noticed this half, very few penalties on Hampton. They were, they were undisciplined the first the first half. Nine penalties in the first half, just one here in half number two. Big difference. PC's now they're down to 6.59, seven minutes left in the game. They've got to go down and get some points here to get back in this game. Walker. To the sideline, it's caught. Jeter. Jarius Jeter out of the backfield. Just picking their way down the field. That's how they did it the first, except for that big explosive play, but that's the way they did the, 